That's a, I think that's a dead person right there. Okay, that, that was, a, that's a bad fucking omen. I think that's a dead guy. Okay, well, Connecting. let's connect to our account. My dog is barking. I think the cops are coming. There's someone outside my door. Already outside my door. Hello? It's probably nothing, Chad. Stream over. That was fast. It might be for the best, man. Agent Garlic. I had to grab a different account because my other account somewhat progressed through some of the other stuff that I knew I wouldn't get to today. Not even five minutes. Let's take a look around. This is the this is the mainframe. Chat, we are a member of Black Watchmen. We are like we are like a secret society that keeps cults and the worst crimes imaginable from happening. Alright? That's like our secret. Okay, that's our special power. We're like SCP guys. Yeah, we're sort of like SCP guys. We're, we're basically the SCP containment facility. We are gonna be making sure that ever, no one does anything super illegal on the internet, okay? Using all the information available to us. Let's take a look at the campaign section. So we will be doing basic training. Uh, all of our basic training stuff. Campaigns are pretty fucking hefty. Uh, pretty fucking hefty. We probably have time to do an entire campaign tonight. If I, if I don't get horribly stuck at any part, we have about the time to finish a whole campaign tonight. Now, there are a bunch of things. There's like two, there's multiple campaigns. And then there's a bunch of like DLCs as well that came out that are extremely difficult. I don't even want to explain to you how fucked Whitechapel is, okay? Whitechapel is this one. I could, sh I may show you guys Whitechapel, okay? I might load up Whitechapel at some point. It looks short as shit, but it is so fucked with a capital F, U, C, K, E, D, that I am, I am fucking terrified to show you what it expects me to do on stream to solve a puzzle. I ha I know how to do it, because I did it by myself, but if I showed it to you on stream, I'd probably still fuck it up, and then you guys would be omega lulling and acting like you can solve it, but it would literally be a case in this challenge, this mission, that you guys wouldn't know the answer either. Like, that's how hard some of these puzzles can get, is that no one, including people to this day, know the actual answer, and everyone's just like, hey, hey, did you guys ever figure it out? Nah, dude, I sort of just guessed and got it, I got lucky. I got lucky, I, I just guessed. I'm pretty sure there are fucking, if you go to like the what the walkthroughs for this game, like the walkthrough guide is just like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I just guessed. I just fucking, I just punched in random letters until eventually it just took an answer, dude. I just guessed. But anyways, let's begin. Let's run our basic training briefing video and begin. Let me just do a double check. If I click this button, it should show you guys my Firefox. Okay. All right, along with my Facebook and my uh, throwaway email account. Okay, good. I just want to make sure before I do anything. I'm in! <laughs> yeah, IP leaked. Garlic gaming. Chat, that's my alibi. All right, let's take a look here. Bab. We at Morpho believe there is nothing more important than Babby. family. That's why we ensure all our employees follow strict breeding guidelines. Together, we can protect what matters most. Breeding guidelines. Welcome to Basic Recruit. We need to test your skills and train you in the techniques of the Black Watchman. Due to the covert nature of our operations, many communications between our field agents and HQ are coded or hidden within larger pockets of data. Chat, I don't think you guys are supposed to be watching this screen. You learn to see messages hidden in plain sight. These are not coded transmissions, but rather messages concealed within larger amounts of information. Sound is a bit we low. protect what matters most and guarantee improvement for posterity. Genetically engineered babbies. All right, whatever. Let's begin, chat. It's time. This is going to get this is going to get you guys up to speed with some of the basic expectations of Black Watchmen. 
Hidden meeting. All right. So this is very simple. A secure channel unavailable. Locate the hidden message. Okay. This is like this is like tutorial shit right now. Okay. It is just like hey, fucking decipher us. Incredibly basic. Thing here now I could have you guys look at it through this terrible fucking window or I could just say show it in a browser and pull it open over here which is way fucking easier and more comfortable for like streaming just in general as we move forward that's why I had to that's why most of this stuff you see it's all like it's all links like it's all online basically every source in this entire thing is technically a link that you can access though I wouldn't recommend you type in all these fucking things <laughs> that would take you a billion years. I'll just take a look at this. Greetings from Hawaii. Warm, sunny days, beautiful beaches. What a gorgeous place. I could just walk along the shore watching the waves forever. I can't imagine another spot so great. Oh, have to go. The tide is just right. Surf's up, man. Okay, so if you can't figure this one out, you should turn off the stream. <laughs> if you can't crack the code on this one, you guys aren't ready to play this game with me. <laughs> I think it's everything that's underlined. Chat, I agree. And it says, ta get low located. I think it says target located. So now we just go over here and we plug that in. Target located. We in baby piece of cake, man. That's basically nothing. That's just a simple old entry level tutorial to show you that you have to read. All right, let's keep moving. Look closer. More than one message may be hidden within a single document. All right. Now we have to look a little bit closer. So we're gonna open this back up in our browser again and just see what we got here. I see it. I already see it. I mean, I already technically did this one, but as you can see here, hidden deep inside the postage stamp, which is fucking illegal, by the way. You can't write on fucking postage. Uh, extraction successful. Okay, this is again, tutorial tier shit chat. You don't have to fucking be a rocket scientist to pass fucking training in Black Watchmen, okay? Okay. You don't have to be a, a fucking rocket scientist to do this. Extraction successful, bada bing, bada bam. We're in, baby. Piece of cake, baby. We just passed basic training, baby. Simple as that, chat. Did you write all that down? If you forgot anything or missed anything, you gotta leave, because that was basically nothing. That's, that, doesn't, that is not representative of the game's expectations of you. If I went over to Whitechapel right now and tried to play that, you guys would start peeing yourselves on stream. I'm sort of tempted to. <laughs> no, you guys aren't ready for Whitechapel. You guys, I, I don't even think I'm ready to do Whitechapel. I couldn't beat Whitechapel. I could get like a mission in and then give up on Whitechapel. You, got, I, you guys would not be, we would just, you guys would get interested in it and then you would have to fucking leave because we wouldn't be, we actually wouldn't be able to beat it. We'll do it later. We'll do it. We will check out Whitechapel on the stream, but we'll do it later because that's like the hardest this game ever got. Training mission two. <clears throat> Learn to identify and crack basic codes and ciphers. This is important. Write this stuff down. Actually write this down if you're planning on following along. Bab. Your loved ones deserve the best. But in the event that anything happens to them, you'll want to be prepared. We provide services to punish and torture any- uh, what? Your next training exercise involves basic codes and ciphers. You will encounter many different types of codes in the field and you must be able to recognize and translate them quickly. Okay. The faster you can identify a code, the faster you can crack it. You will be provided with a conversion kit and an overview of code breaking. Code breaking chat. To punish and torture anyone responsible. Accidents happen, and you need to be ready. Morpho Medical. Morpho Medical. Morpho Medical. All right. Voices in the ether received from an agent via shortwave radio decode decode the meeting All right chat. <clears throat> it's time to use the archive site We're gonna be punching in BTM 4a17 into the archive the black watchman archive. Let's take a look over here BTM 4a17 And it opens up this year file just view it on this, okay, so 
Here we have some basic information on how to decode a uh, cipher. This is not the full information of the entire thing. This is just the uh, the information on how the game uh, interacts with like ciphers and codes and stuff, which are a thing, by the way. I have had to do some extreme fucking code breakage, but that's not the actual thing. First of all, we also want to go to the site ASCII to hex. This is going to be relevant for our work, so. This is a, there's plenty of sites that do ASCII to hex stuff, but this one just has the most like extra options for people. So let me just lo open that up quickly. ASCII to hex.com. It looks like this. This is ASCII to hex. Uh, all of these are relevant. <laughs> Every single one of these may have an application in our work tonight, chat. Don't consider any of these not relevant. Okay, we may have to use base 64. We might need using rot 13. You're gonna have to fucking crack that code. I, we have to do that. That's our fucking job. I got mail. I refuse to click on that. I'm not showing my fucking screen. <laughs> what are you crazy? So let's, uh, let's, let's get to it. It's a lot of work chat today. A lot of work today. We got a lot of stuff going on. So now let's actually take a look at what we have here. This is the actual like audio track. 105, 110, 32, 112, 111, 115, 105. 106 Write this down! Write this down! This blows up at the end! 111, 110. Okay, so if you didn't cry, if you didn't figure this one out again, um, it's not that crazy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna punch that into decimal. Uh, this is uh, this is decimal. It didn't have any letters, so it's not hexadecimal. This is a decimal code. So we're gonna punch all those numbers. We're gonna let it replay again. We're gonna punch it all into decimal and then convert it and see what we get, baby. All right, piece of cake. 105, 110, 32, 102, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, Oh, it just says in position. Okay, we're in position, baby. We got it. See, this is still training, but it, you can already sort of see, like, the makings of what this game eventually expects you to do. And, uh, it's fucked. It's, I, I can't spoil the Whitechapel thing I did that made me, like, fucking feel... I did a thing in Whitechapel, and I will give you guys t I will show you guys what it is, but I literally can't progress farther in Whitechapel because I couldn't go any further. I couldn't get any further. It was as far as I got without help before I, like, started, like, dying inside. But I will show it to you, and it'll make you feel like you are the smartest person in the fucking world when you do it. But that's later. All right, let's keep moving. I think the mission's coming up where I'm gonna have to just take out the answers because it's, like, obnoxious to do. But we'll wait till we get there. All right, we got another, we got orders from HQ. We're using the exact same archive that we had before. Let's take a look here. Orders from HQ, determine intercept location. Ask you to hex. Okay, so this is the actual source. Vagreprnecron va funantum. All right. So, what can we convert this to in the ASCII site that will give us a fucking answer? What can we use that'll give us what we want? It looks like ROT13 to me. If I had to guess, this is ROT13. Because that's the only one that's all letters. It's either ROT13 or Base64, but this doesn't have any symbols, so I'm guessing, since that also has a VA in it, that we're looking at ROT13 here. Because VA, also, also the exact same source here, VA. Oh, hang on, I want this game to show my fucking mouse. Oh no, there it goes. Okay, I just have to click on it. Yeah, we got Va here. So this is Va 13. We already know that. We already know that. Our brains, can you feel it, chat? Our, our collective fucking brain power. Pulsing. Pulsing, getting more powerful. As we move on. Let's punch this in. 
Vag rep. Brickman. Va. Funaton. Are we sure we want the answer to this? Intercept target in Shanghai. Okay. All right, easy. It was intercept target in Shanghai. Interte intercept target in Shanghai. Nice piece of cake. We're almost done with our training chat, and then we're in the fucking re and then we're into the real deal. All right, we're almost done. One last thing. Now this one. No, it's Division 79 where I actually just have the end. For context, there's one mission coming up in, like, Division 79, I think, that has, like, just a, an obnoxious fucking expectation of you just, like, stare at letters. Like, there's no puzzle. It's just stare at letters until you get it right because it's, like, all, like, warbled up. And we're just going to punch in the answers for that. I actually have that one on, like, notepad, and we're just going to punch it into the fucking, like, answers because I can't. I will not do that one on stream again. <laughs> All right, advanced preparation. Apply what you've learned to investigate a case of a missing antique dealer and find the culprit. <laughs> Not a problem. Bab. Our children are our future. We at Morpho strive to better that future every day. New innovations in medicine, logistics, and genetic manipulation help move us into a better... In the field, you must learn to examine everything closely and distinguish patterns from the background noise. <laughs> For your final training session, you must uncover the culprits behind the disappearance of an antique dealer in Chicago. All the information surrounding the case cannot be found in the documents provided. You will need to research leads online and connect the dots. Yes. Prove yourself here, and you become an active agent. This is when the game actually wants us to do stuff, chat. We're free. As with everything, nature is the best. It begins. Character. We will be navigating through Google and following leads based on what we see in the information that's given us. It's time, chat. It's time. Mission three, advanced preparation. If we crack this one, we're in. Merchant missing. Analyze the crime scene photos and determine an occult group of interest to the antique dealer prior to his disappearance. Photos from the scene are on archive call number GH73Q3. Alright, so we can close out the old archive and punch in the new one. So, let's do that now. GH73Q3. Again, if you are curious about using like this site to look at any of the stuff I'm opening in real time, just go to archive.blackwatchman.com. All right, these are cursed as shit. Uh, <laughs> um, um, mm, 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 mm. some of these are some of these are extremely cursed looking. All right, uh, first of all, before I do that, let me just double check uh, if there's anything else in the info that they've given me that I want. Uh, okay, that's the code breaking information. We don't need that. We don't need the code breaking stuff. We I I already know how to code break, and it's not it's nothing that you can't figure out on your own just by observation. Ask you to hex, and there's a photo here uh, that teaches you basically. Entry level like oh hey learn how to search things before the internet conducting agency research involved encyclopedias Visiting the physical archives and summoning the correct knowledge demon Luckily, we now live in an information age where this knowledge is accessible from your very own home computer However, with so much information available to you It is important to understand how to correctly parse through the available content to avoid misinformation Preparing for search online. Before you begin your online search, make sure you're ready with all available information to your investigation. Take note of all assets presented and take the time to consider exactly how to proceed. Understanding why you are conducting your research can be as important as what you search for at all. Having a solid grasp on the mission briefing evidence and materials and motivating questions will help you avoid dead ends. Search syntax and Google foo. Research usually requires extensive search use of search engines to maximize your efficiency. During research, the analyst should learn the research syntax of the chosen search engine. Searching terms and quotations will only yield results with exact matches. Very important in this game. Very important is using quotes around your stuff. Uh, you you want to use quotes most of the time, unless you don't get anything with a normal quoted search. The default logical operator for the most search engines is and. All right, blah, 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 blah. You know how search engines work. We're ready. We're ready, baby. All right, chat, let's fucking do this. Let's do this. Let's go in. All right. I'm actually going to move this. Oh, no, I don't want to tamper with it. I was going to move it over to my other monitor so I could see it better. But then I wouldn't be able to see you guys anymore. All right. So let's take a look here. It's a photo case number 26D84A. That's um, 
That is possibly an archive call, but I don't think so. Uh, this was taken in Chicago uh, in 2015, April 4th, in Chicago. Cursed, cursed doll. Check. I don't see anything weird in there or anything that I can search. That's just a doll. Unless you want me to look up, like, fucking haunted dolls. And that's a pretty wide fucking net, so I don't think we got anything in there. Take a look at this one. Also, Chicago, same day. Uh, nothing that looks like a clear link. Other than crapette thirsty or not, but that's not really anything either. We're looking for stuff. We're looking for obvious fucking things here. Alright? Looking, We're looking for stuff that's obvious. Alright, this is an early, this is an early thing. Don't overthink it. If you file. Psalms... 4042. Oh, Jesus. What's this here? JJJCNFGrova.pbz 4A67. That's hexadecimal. There. We got something there, chat. Everyone remember that. We got something there. Let's keep looking through it, though. A cursed monster from the depths. Cursed monster from the depths. Uh, Antique Auctions, 1863 Berry Avenue. That's something, possibly. That, that That's a very clear text. I remember that, too. Remember that. We got an address. That could be something. But we're looking for specifically an occult group. Okay? Looking specifically for an occult group. So let's not do anything too crazy yet. The actual amount of characters is actually shown in this one. And it's pretty hefty. So we're looking for, like, a well-established, probably, occult group. Specifically, okay, in the in this thing, this guy's missing, but whoever took him, or is involved in this guy's disappearance, is probably pretty long name and probably some bullshit Latin. So let's just keep following the clues for now and what we have on the screen. And the last picture is this one, of a bunch of children staring at a camera. Okay, that's nothing. So so far we have two pictures that actually have any sort of evidence or things that we can follow that I've seen. All right. That's that one and that one. These two right here. Re let us read the Bible. The chalkboard. Unreadable. <laughs> Literally not usable, chat. Come on. The game's not gonna tell us to do things that are unbelievable, okay? Trust me, everything in this game is very much exactly where you need it to be. And anything extra you do is because you overthought it because you're you're getting into the fucking game. Alright? Which is good. Get into the game. That's good. But don't let it take over your fucking brain or you will go fucking crazy and never progress. Okay? So we're gonna reopen this one and we're gonna punch this one in. 4A675732. Alright? This is hexadecimal. 4A57. What else we got here? 4A5... 4A6757. Okay. 6757. Someone could be punching this in the chat for me to make this fucking faster and you're not. 327239. 32-72-39. 41-65. 41-65. Are we sure we want the answers to this one? <laughs> I'm gonna stop us again there. Are we sure? We got your back, Agent? I don't believe you, but whatever. Let's convert it. Alright. It's a bunch of uh, mush. JGW2R9AE. This is nothing. Or is it? Hmm. Hmm. These could be something. If we take into account the link here. As if it was a website. I'm a little bit worried this is going to punch in and take us to a virus. But, um... Before we do that... We are going to... Oh, fuck. We are going to also just, like, punch this into other possibilities i don't i think i'm pretty sure it can't be anything but hexadecimal though but just in case we're gonna punch it into text and just like do some quick quadruple checks to be a hundred percent sure even though it should be hexadecimal i'm pretty sure it is that returns us the most stuff 
So I'm going to punch in this whole thing into this website here and hope it doesn't give me a fucking virus, okay? So jjjcnfgrova.ppz. .ppz slash, this is gonna give me a virus. And then we're gonna try it from text, okay? We're gonna try it from text here and see if this gives us anything. Nope, that came out with DuckDuckGo and then stuff for the fucking, wait a minute. Uh, okay, I saw, I saw it for a second because it sort of just spoiled it for us. Because unfortunately that's the side effect of searching stuff is sometimes it'll just pop up with other people like, I need help. But um, it was it would have probably been what we would have autopiloted to had we continued on this path of not knowing what the fuck we were doing, and it's that this is probably a paste bin. Okay, so if you go to pastebin.com and we punch this code in here, we're still in tutorial. Remember that. But we got something, baby. It was a paste bin fucking, uh, it was a paste bin link. The fuck is paste bin? You don't know what paste bin is? You don't know, you don't know what goddamn paste bin is, man? If you had been paying attention at all, you would have known this guy loves paste bin. Look, if you look right here, if you look right here, hang on, there's gotta be some evidence that would have called us to paste bin regardless. Look, if you look right here, there's a the, the paste bin in the background. There's a bin. Look right here, there's a bin. Paste, there's glue. Or, I don't fucking know. Hey, look. Either way, we got there, chat. Let's keep looking into this. Folio 13 of Cypher Manuscript, Cypher MMS. Uh, original copy. Black ink on cotton paper in protective non-corrosive plastic sheet. Circa 1809, no authentication is available, but ink dating certificate included... Uh, Okay. Cypher manuscript. We're going to look up Cypher MMS. We're actually going to look up this entire thing. Folio 13 of Cypher manuscript. We're going to look this up on quote. In quote mode on Google and just see what comes out. Okay. And just see, see if we get anything out of it. Golden Dawn. Okay, that's, okay, that looks like it's actually just going to fucking tell me the answer. Yeah, that's the problem with this, is that these earlier ones, everyone needs fucking help. As we get deeper in, it's gonna get a lot more fucking, it's gonna, it's gonna get a lot less spoilery, trust me. Later on, people don't know the answer anymore, but these are like the first, like, five fucking levels. So, we're gonna try out, we're gonna try Golden Dawn. See if it gives us anything. It does not. All right. Well, if it's not the Golden Dawn, chat, then our options are far more limited, chat. We're gonna have to search into the Golden Dawn. Or, actually, yeah, we're gonna search the Golden Dawn, all right? There's probably a longer name for them, specifically. So, we need to keep looking deeper. Come, we have to go deeper in. Golden Dawn. the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. More commonly, the Golden Dawn was a secret society devoted to the study and practice of the occult, metaphysics, and paranormal activities during the late 19th and early 20th century. Well, well, well. Almost went to the Nazi party. Yeah, well, fuck Nazis for ruining this fucking 2015 video game chat. I can't fucking tiptoe over everything. This game, this game is trying, okay? It's not my fault that Nazis keep looking at things that this game's using and being like, yeah, let's make Nazis out of this. All right, I can't, we can't fucking do that for this whole fucking game, dude. They can't, they're not just gonna change the fucking name of the thing for the game, man. Fuck them, ruining my video game. Let's punch this in. All right, full name this time. Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. We got it, baby. Recruit. You have completed basic training. We and in. are now an active agent. You have been assigned to Division 79, the research and development arm of the Black Watchmen. 
There will be time to get settled in later. Right now, we need you to get to work. Is this a scary game? You it gets there. You will odd jobs at first. <laughs> but as soon as something sticks, stay with it. It gets there. Don't worry. It'll get there, probably. Even if it's only scary because you realize you have to do fucking homework in it. I'm not showing you Whitechapel. Okay, I promise, chat. <laughs> That's the scary one. I will fucking scare you with Whitechapel eventually, chat. And you will fucking panic and freak out. But that's later. That's once I've gotten you guys up to speed with the game, okay? But I think next up is uh is the one that I need to fucking punch in soon. Okay, not for a bit more. Okay, it's mission five. All right, so it's the mission after this mission. I'm gonna have to like just punch in the answer to skip the bullshit. But that's in a minute. All right, Division Seventy Nine. We got we got we got promoted, chat. A Division Seventy Nine facility requires immediate resupply. They used the test site for decades. They didn't say anything to the locals, didn't warn them at all. Some called it negligence, others called it population research. The changes started almost immediately. An odd case in one village, a slight mutation somewhere else. Mm -hmm. It just got worse and worse. I still don't know how we arrived Welcome at Pastebin. Hang on, I'll answer in a second. Recruit. Our research facility on the Hanford site needs a resupply of heavy water. Heavy Secure water. The material necessary and send it off. Heavy water? You need you need to order years some heavy water. The effects are still visible everywhere. You need heavy water? How heavy? Someone was asking I still don't know how we managed to get to pastebin. Alright. Well here's the thing. If you searched with a quote that string of letters, okay? Google would only give you links that actively include that letter from their public search engine, okay? So, if you search with quotes, J blah 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 blah, the full string that you ciphered out, it would probably link to you the pastebin. Rot13 is the website address, it says pastebin. You could also do that. Chat, there is nothing in this game that has to be solved by, like, fucking the website like the fucking walkthrough guy telling you right is all there it's just how good you are okay and eventually if you ain't good enough a lot of it is community problem solving at a certain point because it gets that fucking hard there are solutions that i there are i can't spoil it <laughs> i can't let's just keep moving you'll get you'll get there you'll get there paper trail Use the, use the facility's past receipts to determine the correct supplier to contact for heavy water <laughs> All right, take a quick look around here. We got some receipts. I'm actually not gonna take these over to the other uh, page just cause it's gotta be zoomed in anyways. Uh, file under medical supplies, third zone laboratories, ethyl alcohol pure, flame resistant lab coats. There's nothing here. I don't see anything here that gives me an idea of what that is. Next one. Invoice, uh, blah, blah, chemical supplies, Hanford site complex C. We could search Hanford's site. Oh no. It's them. Morpho Medical. They, they're the ones that were talking about torturing me earlier in the fucking videos. I'm gonna punch them in and just see what happens. It's just Morpho Medical, nice and easy. We're just looking for the company that they're buying the water from. Okay. Stock up. Place an order for heavy water and obtain confirmation code from Morpho Medical. All right. The Morpho Medical Division 79 customer number is 40FH32. And they have a website called morphomedical.com. Okay, so chat, we're just ordering, we're just politely ordering some heavy water. But, um, you know, uh, let's do some basic searching and just see there were other ways we could have arrived at Morpho Medical, including just searching Morpho Medical on Google. So if I grab Morpho Medical here real quick and search them, okay, one of the first things you'd see on this page is actually a Facebook <laughs> for Morpho Medical that'll navigate us to beautiful Morpho Medical. Which hasn't been updated since year 2015. Facebook. 
there's not much there, but what you do have is people commenting on Morpho Medical, so we can see how legit they actually are. Wow, this really exists? I'm looking for to source some diturium oxide. Can anyone help me with this, please? Intersetting, intersetting. The, what, what was that? I saw something important. Wow, heaviest water yet. We'll reorder. And then this person probably posted a, cur a curse word in hexadecimal. We are not translating that. <laughs> That's not a spoiler. That's just someone probably cussing. Brooke, you naughty, naughty girl. Brooke, you naughty bastard. All right, let's swing on over to Morpho Medical's main site. Morpho Medical. Here we are, chat. You don't know that. Well, you can punch it in if you want, chat, but I, I refuse to do that. I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. Welcome to the Morpho Medical main site, chat. All we got to do today is order some water, all right? That's it. We just got to order some water. The order, the water they delivered was too light. We got to order it again. It's not an HTTPS. Yeah, these are unsecure sites, chat. So just for some context, back when the game was in like active development, you had to order it through email. Uh, now this one does not use email anymore. They actually changed it uh, to use a different service, which we will get to and we will discover in time. But um, you used to actually have to email them. You don't have to do that anymore. So let's just take a look around. Morpho Medical Fact, Faith, Future. Global reach. Billions of people depend on the products and services provided by our businesses. As a result, we've opened over 100 offices worldwide. Our representatives can assist you regardless of your language or location. No matter where you are, Morpho Medical is close by. My God. Morpho Medical. They're here for me. Chat. Innovative science. Essential aid. Over 80,000 products to choose from. Morpho Medical believes in giving back, which is why we started the My Clean World, a program which has helped to provide clean, heavy, heavy, super heavy water to more than 500 communities worldwide. Today, thousands of people have the luxury of safe water and a brighter future. Wow. What do you, what do you have for services? In addition to being one of the leading suppliers of chemical and biological products, Morpho Medical offers a wide range of services for large and small businesses alike. Are you setting up a, for clinical trials? Do your employees require safety training? Are you having trouble finding a specific product? Need help analyzing results? Our service department can help. Morpho Medical is committed to providing the most comprehensive service available. Get in touch with us today and discover the faith of our business. Go to our automated support chat function on the left hand side of the page to see more services with an interactive agent. Well, don't mind if I do, game. Please enter your customer ID. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. It's just too easy, dude. It's too fucking easy. It's it's too easy. It's almost like it's a tutorial. It's almost like we're still in a tutorial of sorts to teach you how the game works. F O F H 32 Send. Hello? Welcome to Warfare Medical. If at any time you get lost, please type it back and we'll start our conversation from the beginning. Do you how, do you want to start? Yes. Smile. I would like to start. Are you interested in our products, customer support, or services? I'm interested in purchasing a product. <laughs> it's too easy. It's just too easy, chat. What kind of product are you interested in? Chemistry, life science, or labware? Well, in order to know that for sure, let's just double check right now. Heavy water. What exactly is heavy water? Heavy water? is deuterium oxide, H, du, two H2O, D2O, a form of water that, can, that contains only deuterium, also known as heavy hydrogen. This is a chemical, so yeah, we want a chemical. Just wanted to double check for you guys, just so you know like the logic of this. So we're, we're here for chemistry product. I, I want chemistry product, good sir. Would you like to see our popular products or new products? Uh, they've ordered this before. So I'm gonna assume this is gonna be in popular products. I'm just, I'm just the middleman, buying some more of it. Which product would you like to purchase? Boric acid, calcium glycine, serine, 
Acetic acid, deuterium oxide. Well, now we know that heavy water is deuterium oxide, so we get to skip that whole step and go straight to typing it in, baby. Deuterium oxide is what we require, good sir. Confirm purchase? Yes. Smile. Thank you for your purchase. Your confirmation number is 200276. Would you like to continue shopping? No. You fucking idiot. You just gave me all your information. I'm, in fact, a secret agent. You fool. You fucking idiot. If you need assistance, just say hello. Hello. Can I help you? No. Well, we got what we came for, technically, chat. We got what we came for, baby. Let's grab this thing and get the fuck out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. They're gonna get us. Oh, oops, I gotta take out the brackets. Get the hell, you gotta get the fuck out. Ruining this intern's life. It was a robot, chat. You don't have to feel fucking bad for him. You don't have to feel fucking bad for him. All right. We did it. We've completed the mission. The next one is radiation, which is otherwise known as extremely fucking cursed because it's just like, I'd have to open up MS Paint to do it right. I'm not doing that. So I already have the answers to this one. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna blast right through this one once I watch the fucking video. The test just kept happening. A group of subjects would be assembled, and when it went wrong, they would well, just watch this. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. start again right, with the next. All sacrificed in the name of science. Their pain forgotten, overshadowed by glorious progress. There seemed to be an endless supply of specimens, ready for slaughter. A series of files in the archive are corrupted. Recover them and fix the problem. We must maintain a well-organized archive. Hey, what did you do? Heavy P. <laughs> All right. All right. I am not going to display this as I do it. I'm just going to show you guys Morpho Medical because I will not cheat visibly on stream. Okay? So you guys are going to have to look at this page of Morpho Medical while I fucking cheat on stream and punch in all these answers because none of them matter. They have no relevance to the plot. It's just like a bunch of really fucking crusty pictures that are terrible to read and fucking like totally fucking awful. So I'm gonna punch these in quickly and get to the next thing. Oops, wrong one. Alright. Mm -mm -mm. mm -mm. Okay. What? Yeah, these are terrible. You're not missing out on anything. There's no plot that's given here. It's just like, please waste your time for fucking 30 minutes like looking at these pictures. They're unfucking believable So I'm just gonna Get through this real quick. Okay. Almost done, chat. Almost done. You're almost free. Look at Morpho. Look at the... You guys want to talk to the AI? Hi. Hi. You guys want to talk to AI? Hi. They said he doesn't understand. He hates you. All right. We're through. Okay. So this one right here. This one right here, here's what we have to do. The original file has been permanently corrupted by radiation. Update the case file with the substance redacted from the list. We have radiation tests from 1946 to 2015, archive number 8DFG9D. So essentially, chat, all the other pictures I went through right there that you didn't see were just me, uh, like, deciphering what a bunch of text at the bottom of a fuck- at the top of a screen said. It was just all, like, warbly. It looked like it went through, like, a fucking glitch filter, bro. It was fucking cursed. So, you're better off now. Now we can punch in this archive and move on with our lives. Everyone say bye-bye to Morpho Medical. We're never seeing them again, baby. Not until the day we fucking die are we going back to Morpho. Oh, yeah. We're done there. 8DF. J-9-D. 
All right, we've got a list of various science tests that happened with radiation in the year 1946, all the way leading up to the year 2015 here. These are redacted. Uh, we need to find out what was redacted in all these tests. So, uh, let's just take, let's just take a look at the things that were redacted here. 1953, there was a test of blank on newborns and pregnant women at the University of Iowa. If we search that, we will probably find what we're looking for. I don't think I can display my screen for that one, though, because it may have dead babies. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut the feed while I search that one and confirm the answer, because I don't really want to show you guys a dead fucking fetus. Okay? It may. It might. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that feed while I do that one. Because it's probably a horrible, horrible catastrophe of the human era. So give me one second. Just assume that you see that you are watching me right now. Search Iowa radiation tests 19, uh, what was it? 1953. Okay, 1953. Unethical human experimentation in the United States. All right, I'm not seeing any dead babies on this screen, so I'm going to go ahead and switch the feed again. <laughs> All right, chat, so these are unethical human experimentation pages here. Uh, but what it led us to specifically was radioactive iodine experiments. In 1949, an operation called the Green Run, the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission, AEC, released iodine-131 and xenon-133 into the atmosphere near Hanford site in Washington. All right, if we skip forward a little bit more, we'll see in 1953, the AEC ran several studies at the University of Iowa on the health effects of radioactive iodine in newborns and pregnant women. In one study, researchers gave pregnant women 100 to 200 microcuries, about 3.7 to 7.4 MBQs of iodine-131 in order to study the woman's aborted embryos in, a t in an attempt to discover at what stage and to what extent radioactive iodine crosses the placental barrier. I see. I see. I see. They don't, they, they don't they really describe what happened next, but I assume they fucking ate shit there, dude. Uh, probably not very good, but we got what we came for. All right, the redacted thing was iodine-131. Iodine-131 is what we were looking for. Bada-bing. Bada-bing. America is scary. America is fucking scary, dude. Hate to break it to you, but this game is gonna fuck you up. Because a lot of the stuff that they point you to are real bullshit that really happened. And they're just bouncing off of that and making another plot line on top of the real bullshit that happened. All right, that's like half of this game is like, oh, this horrible thing did happen. Except in this plot line, it also happened, but worse at the same time. All right, let's move on. We're almost down to the clinic and that's when like the plot begins. Clinical trials. A clinic suspected of conducting hu illegal human experimentation has reopened to monitor their activity. <laughs> All right. They were told it would be painless. They were told it was safe. $500 for an afternoon of work. Easy money. No one ever told them about the nature of the experiments. How they planned to cut into them, to leave them scarred, literally and figuratively. Only four of the 20... Huh, what? The Rosenberg Clinic oh. has reopened. Past intel suggests the facility was conducting BDNF research on human subjects. Determine if they have resumed clinical trials. Oh, see, only see. four of the 20 survived. He is the only one left who hasn't ended it all. Not yet, at least. Okay. Well, let's get to it then, chat. Let's get to it then. Conduct a background check of the clinic's new doctors. Look for a connection to illegal human experimentation in the case files. All right. Uh, archive call number XJ99M5. All right, everyone. Sponge this bad boy in and get to work. XJ99M5. Okay. So we've got, uh, got some stuff here. Division 66, 1751 Richardson Street, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Keep that in mind. Uh, the place, the clinic for half of this plot is located in Canada. So we're going to be looking for stuff that relates to Quebec specifically. 
All right, so we've got some info. Uh, this is this here is Dr. Christopher Parr. Blah 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 blah. Write that down. Write that phone number down. Call that guy. Call him right now. Everyone, someone call him. Don't call him. I think I don't, I don't think any of these numbers are active. I think devs technically have the numbers, but don't call him. But call him. Don't call him. Uh, C. Parr at Rosenberg Clinic. Uh, children. Uh, Dr. Parr has has many years' experience as a neurologist. He has no criminal record. Has a good credit rating. He was a member of the U.S. Army and served as a medical officer in Afghanistan. Dr. Parr is not currently under sustained surveillance. We'll see about that. He worked at Pizza Hut in Milwaukee for a little bit as counter staff. All right. All right. University of Chicago. That's good. Lucille's as a server. P. Fizzer as a research assistant. What's P. Fizzer? I don't really want to... Here's the thing. I don't want to show you guys as I search things because it can have spoilers for the game. So I think that when I'm searching like specifically a name of something... I don't want to show that search until after I'm positive. Uh, that it's not going to spoil the game for you guys. Okay, so P-Fizzer is a pharmaceutical company. So that's fine. Uh, Mercy Hospital. Brigham and Women's Hospital. He worked there with a residency and then as a neurologist. And that's when he started doing neurology. He then went to work at the U.S. Army and then went back to Brigham and Women's Hospital. Let's search that. Let's search that real quick. I'm going to punch that in. Brigham and Women's Hospital uh, is the second largest teaching hospital of Harvard Medical School and the largest hospital in the Longwood Medical Area in Boston, Massachusetts. Why, that sounds lovely. What's your dark fucking secret, Wikipedia? Mm, you got a dark history I should know about? No, everything looks fine in here. Nothing weird. This guy seems on the up and up. Let's go to the, let's go to the next place on the list, uh, which would be this employee here. Uh, Dr. Shanna Myrick. All right, we can skip most of their bullshit. Has many years of experience as a neurosurgeon, has no criminal record and good credit rating. Hey, that's good. Has a good credit rating. Chat, that's good. That's good. She, she pays her debts on time. How could they break any laws like that? Maybe this place, maybe this place is going to be okay. They worked at the Bay Department store in Winnipeg, Canada. Then worked at Johnny's Pizza, Starbucks Coffee, University of Toronto, Mount Sinai Hospital, and then St. Michael's Hospital. Uh, both as an intern. We're going to have to search all these. Uh, so let's start with Mount Sinai Hospital. Mount Sinai Hospital. Uh, if they are still in business, I have to operate an assumption that they are not shut down. So we don't have to do much here. Uh, we're looking for illegal human experimentation. So we're going to go right down to the next one. Uh, St. Michael's Hospital. St. Michael's Hospital uh, is a teaching hospital and medical center in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. All right. All right. I'm not seeing anything here about, hi, a bunch of human mutants fell out of our closet last week. So I'm going to operate in the assumption these guys are still okay. Uh, these places wouldn't still be around if they did a legal human experimentation that was documented. Uh, so we're going to move on to the next one on the list, which is... Sunnybrook Center. We're going to skip General Hospital. I know that place is... That's just a general hospital. Uh, that's nothing. Sunnybrook Center. Sunnybrook Center Rehabilitation Center. Sunnybrook Center, uh, hospital? Sunnybrook Hospital. Sunnybrook Center, uh, simply known, blah, blah, blah. Made surgical breakthroughs, blah, 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 blah. Nothing about illegal human experimentation. I might have to search that word specifically. But for now, I'm not seeing anything weird here. I'm not seeing anything weird here. Yeah, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing I'm not seeing anything off about this yet. And then they went to work at Rosenberg Clinic, which is where they should be working. That's the that's the place that's opening. So last one is Dr. Mario Nathaniel. Uh University of Kent Rosenberg Clinic 
Bethlehem Royal Hospital. Holmesburg Prison stands out to me here. Okay, hang on, Dr. Mario. All right, Dr. Mario, let's ask a couple of questions here. Why are you working? Hang on here. As a lab assistant, not a assistant doctor, as a lab assistant in Philadelphia. Holmesburg Prison. Did I spell that right? Holmesburg Prison? Holmesburg? Holmesburg, the U. Holmesburg Prison. Show me your dark secrets, Holmesburg, Dr. Mario. What are you doing, Dr. Mario? Holmesburg was a prison operated in the city of Philadelphia. What? Mmm. Mmm. Let's enhance this fucking thing. Mmm. It was a site of controversial... It was a site of controversial decade-long dermatolog dermatological, pharmaceutical, and biochemical weapons research projects involving testing on inmates. Mmm. Dr. Mario, what are you up to, Dr. Mario? Dr. Mario! Hmm, 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 very suspicious, some weird stuff going on. Prison is also notable for having several major riots in the early 1970s, as well as a report released in 1968, the results of an extensive two-year investigation from the offices of Philadelphia Police Commissioner, uh, documenting hundreds of cases of rape of inmates. Yikes zone. All right, horrific history, one of the worst places ever. Okay, he seems fine. We're at a dead end, chat. We're at a dead end. Everyone here seems on the up and up, man. I don't really know what to do here. Okay, I'm gonna type in Holmesburg. Prison. <laughs> Holmesburg Prison. Badazongus, it's as simple as that, baby. It's as simple as that. Read the clues, watch the fucking patterns. Observe what must be observed. Your brain must must become rigid. Your brain must gain creases. It must lose its smoothness and become very lumpy. Lumpy brain. This game is so subtle. Don't make me pull out Whitechapel, fucko. I see you being sarcastic. Don't fucking make me pull out Whitechapel. I might do it once we get to the clinic thing. Once we finish this, I might pull out Whitechapel real quick to fucking put you in your goddamn place. You will not like if I pull out fucking Whitechapel. All right, you don't want Whitechapel. Surveillance team uncovered uh, the following shredded document from the clinic. Obtain experiment ID. Oh no. It's another one of these fucking things. Uh, experiment ID 665XXXXXX8. Okay, I, I was easy. <laughs> 665XXX8. <laughs> XXX! You're telling me that's not it? It might just be one X, hang on. That's only one X. It's only one X. Okay, hang on. We're fine. Let me, uh, let me take that out. I think that's the answer to that. that nice, easy. Easy. All right, chat, piece of cake. Just some, just some shredded documents from a clinic. Uh, that looks like it's practicing, um, extensive testing on something that I can't really read. Something about growth, uh, stimulation, rapidly, immediate, uh, highly, a uh, high amount of blah, 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 blah. It's all faded and unreadable. You'd have to use, like, Photoshop to fucking fix this thing. I don't own Photoshop. So let's just move on. Tomato's cheating! I'm not cheating. We're almost to the point where I stopped progressing because I wanted to stream it. Bugged. Additional intel needed on the clinic. Plant bugs and signal devices on various floors in Dr. Nathaniel's office to get a clear signal. All right, chat, everyone pack your bags. We got to actually go there now. This is the next part of the game. It's an ARG in real life as well. You can get phone calls from the devs. They'll deliver you packages to your door. Now we have to actually go to the clinic and fucking plant bugs in their house. It's all, all paid actors in there. Uh, no, it's going to be a website that we go to. Uh, all right, additional intel needed on the clinic. Plant bugs and signal devices on various floors in Dr. Nathaniel's office to get a clear visual. What are these people fucking up to that we have to break into their goddamn bullshit? All right, we're getting a communication from surveillance team 6031769, archive call number 81482A. All right, let's log into that archive. 81482A. 
Dispatch is requiring is requesting additional surveillance of target MDR nine VG's workplace. Uh, my surveillance team is standing by, waiting for your orders. You do the easy work, find the right place to put the sound equipment, check the signal, we'll take care of the rest. The office is protected by security guards and a motion-sensitive alarm system. The alarm is easily disabled, but it would be best to avoid engaging the guards. Security is reduced uh, when the office is closed. I suggest we go in then. This might be hard to understand from behind the desk, but the safety of my team is my first priority. Our team can disable the alarm quickly, but to avoid being noticed, it's better that we don't engage the guards. A couple of dead guards would raise too many questions. All three devices have to be placed in the office on multiple floors before we can get a signal. Pay attention to this. The first microphone must be placed in close proximity to the target's MDR9VG's desk. We're, go we're trying to place the bug near Mario's fucking desk. Dr. Mario's fucking desk, chat. Don't forget that. Dr. Mario's the goddamn target. Uh, and the other two have to be placed next to any possible sources of interference or background noise, AC units, machinery, fans, radiation, etc. Check every floor for these noise sources. This process will be used to eliminate any unwanted noise from the signal. Check the diagram below for details. Okay. Okay. Target blah 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 blah. Target MDR nine VG's office phone number is five fourteen six twelve twenty four ninety five. Once all microphones are placed, call the number to test the signal. You got it, man. Let's do this, chat. Let's jack in. Infiltration dot slash Rosenberg. Put that in. Infiltration dot blackwatchman.com slash Rosenberg Oop, that's Roseberg Rosenberg It's time It's time Alright, let's take a look uh, at the basement for starters uh, X-ray unit there so we're gonna put one of our bugs there Don't want any radia radiation bloating Copy to clipboard button Oh yeah, there is a copy to clipboard button Excellent observation, chat member. All right. Upper level. I don't know where Mario's fucking office is. Wait a minute. Enhance. Enhance. I can't see it. Let's operate in the assumption that since there's no noise sources on this level, this is Mario's office. So we're going to put one of the bugs there and go up to the next level. And I see an AC unit there, so we're going to put one bug there. And if everything's correct, when we call the number now... We should be given an A-OK. -okay. Piece of cake. The, the, the guys that are going in now know what they're doing. What's the number here? I got to call 514-612-2495. Okay. 514 You did all right, agent. Good work. I will send you a confirmation code. You will need to complete your mission. Piece of cake, baby. Piece of cake. You and have the reached the Rosenberg Clinic. The clinic is currently closed. Please leave us a message after the tone and somebody will return your call as soon as possible. You fucking idiot! You just got hacked! You just got hacked by me, Tomato Gaming! You got fooled! You got fooled so bad, you little stupid idiot! Oh man, it's too easy! I'm the best! I'm the fucking best! Alright. Imagine losing to me. Too easy. It seems you found your way around quickly, Agent. The Rosenberg Clinic is now your top priority. We're out of the you tutorial chat. This it's over. As it unfolds. The bugs are planted. The surveillance team is in place. Now we wait for developments. It's over. Check email. I literally can't open it on stream. Okay, let me... Cursed messages, cursed messages. Uh, something from Robert Space Industry asking me for two-step verification. Can't show you that. That's real. Uh... We have learned you murdered Tomato Gaming so you could brainwash his Twitch viewers. That's a lie. Delete those. Delete them all. Did you fucking assholes sign me up for goddamn, like, spam? Are you fucking kidding me? You assholes signed me up for, like, newsletters for, per like, drug companies, you fucking assholes. You're gonna seriously ruin this fucking stream if you blow up my email. Oh, I'm playing it. You know that, right? Don't make me get out the angry bugle. I, I will. 
All right, next is the clinic. We're gonna start, we're gonna start jacking in. We're making good fucking time. An hour in and we're about a quarter through the campaign. Do you guys want to see Whitechapel? I will only be solving up to the ones that I know the answers for, but I will show you what this game actually expects of you, okay? At an advanced level. Right now we're at advanced. Whitechapel is also considered advanced. Okay, so remember, we are at like the same level now. We're not gonna do this whole thing because it's so hard that people like haven't finished it. Um, but I will, I will show you what Whitechapel is. Missing agent. Find the missing agent and recover any and all information you may have collected for the investigation out of field installation 7631. Start. Field installation number 7361, located in New York State, has been investigating mass parasomnia events in communities throughout New England. Mm -hmm. Recently, a report sent to HQ was leaked by persons unknown. We have reason to think that this leaker is either Mr. Whitechapel or is somehow connected to him. Out of an abundance of caution, we closed the facility and ordered an immediate evacuation. Recently, a specialist agent that was stationed at field installation number 7361 has gone AWOL. We suspect that he may be in danger and that his disappearance may be linked to the investigation he was a part of. Your first task for this special operation will be to locate the missing agent. Barring that, you are tasked with recovering any and all information he may have collected for the investigation out of the facility. Good luck, Agent. All right. I will not be beating all of this fucking campaign, but if you're interested in this game, this is what this game gets to, okay? A lot of it ends up being at this level or harder pretty much the whole time, okay? So remember that as we do this, this is like what the game's normal difficulty is, and we're getting there now in the campaign that we're going to be finishing tonight probably. Overboard. Use the cell tower data recovered to determine which city or town in New York State, the agent's cell phone is in. All right. So we've got some basic information here to go off of. A uh, bunch of this is giving us errors, but for the most part, it looks like we're getting a lot of hits with these specific longitude latitudes. Uh, so we want to find any ones that are repeats, I'm guessing. Now, I have done this one, but I don't remember how perfectly how I did it. But we probably want to search is stuff for longitude latitude triangulation. So, let me pull open on my one of my other tabs. Longitude latitude search. And we're just gonna try to triangulate as close as we can. Uh, find or enter longitude latitude. I want to, I want to have a site that lets me punch it in. There we go. Latlongdata.com lets us look it up from the actual fucking latitude longitude. So I'm gonna use this site here and punch it in. As soon as I make sure it's not about to dox my location. It has not. Epic. Epic. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to punch in the first one on this list that actually gives us a date. Okay. I'm going to punch in the first one that has a date and see if it puts us anywhere near New York. All right, on this thing. That is 43.290250 with a longitude of negative 73.67. Nine one nine four. Let's see where this puts us. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. We got something. We got a hit, and these are all pretty much in the same location. These are all like within. These are all in the same forty-three negative seventy-three. So we got to assume that these are all landing pretty close to each other. Now this is near the Adirondack Northway. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit here. South Glens Falls, Fortsville. Queensbury. Coles Woods, West Glens Falls. Okay, so this puts us right here. Glens Falls. All right, this is Glens Falls. That's the closest town, technically, or city. So that's the answer to this one. Piece of cake, pretty easy. That's a wrap. Not that bad. Now watch the game kick it up a notch, fuckers. All right? This is... <laughs> Last words. Figure out where the agent has gone. The guy was in Glens Falls when he disappeared, Chad. Figure out where the agent went. We've recovered Agent Taylor's car. Hang on, I'm gonna pop this into the browser. 
We recovered Agent Taylor's car, which she appears to have abandoned and continued on foot. The contents of the car. A uh, one change of clothes. Dirty. Dirty. A cell phone. A copy of Snorri Sturluson's Prose Edda. A car boot safe. Locked. And uh, we examined his text messages with his wife to determine where he might have gone. He had a lat long of located car. was 43308 828 7363 Oh, this is going to be a bitch to type all this in because i got to jump tabs. 43, 308, 828. 308, 828. 43.308, 828. And this is 73, I don't want to share this on Facebook. Later, Facebook. Later, Twitter. Later. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Please, God. Okay. 73, 63, 89, 59. Oh my god. 63. 63. 89. 59. It deleted the fucking first part. 70, negative 73. Okay. So let's get the exact location of his car and we can go from there. Alright. He was near Cumberland Farms. <laughs> Alright, chat. He, he fucking disappeared and started going on foot right fucking here, baby. We got his exact location. We got him located on lock Oakland Avenue on the corner of Glen Street near Cooper's Cave Bridge right next to Cooper's Cave. Which is a pretty unique fucking name. That's a, that's a unique thing, all right? He's probably closer to a place with an actual, like, historical relevance over Cool Insuring Arena. Okay, so um, let's let's operate in the assumption that we've got some close, we've got some stuff that we can work on there. Okay, let's take a look around. What else we got here on the information? We got another photo. Oh, let me pull this into the browser. Oh, and by the way, for context, as it comes to almost anything in the later game and where we are currently in the main campaign, do not close fucking windows down. Like if something is, if something is a piece of knowledge from any part of your previous missions, it is something that the game might pull to. Okay, so like everything now is relevant. Everything that we are pulling open has relevancy in this entire mission now. And we will have to go back to it for context. Uh, so this is a text message logs from the field recon team. Uh, model Sio Sarah, Dura XTP, number is blank. Carrier is Sprint. I see, I see. He was using Sprint. That's probably why I died. He couldn't get, he didn't get a signal. He probably drowned himself in the river trying to get fucking bars. Probably just disappeared. He probably got out of his car because he needed to make a call and just kept walking until he fell into the fucking river and washed away. Something's gone wrong. I need you to meet me. Is what he said to He sent this to his wife. What are you talking about? I'm going to Muhankuntanuk beneath the bridge. If we don't meet there, I'll leave a note. What? Are you there? Hello? Muhikintanuk. Muhikantuk. All right. Muhi Kantuk. What is that? Did I type it right? Yes. Okay. This. Muhi Kantuk. River that flows two way. Henry Hudson. I'm going to operate the assumption. Uh, Dutch letter is named after the waterway Hudson's River. This is Hudson's River. He just called it a different name. It's the Hudson. All right. So, um. Beneath the bridge. Okay. He says he's going beneath the bridge, according to the note here. We know that. Beneath the bridge. So, if he's going beneath the bridge, and we already have a latitude longitude of the nearest place from where he just abandoned his fucking car, Chet! Chet! We already know where he's going, because he got out of his fucking car right here. He parked right next to Cool Arena for insurance. He got out of his car. He started running down Oakland Avenue, running towards the nearest bridge to Charlie's Vacuums, baby. He went straight to Charlie's Vacuums, where he's still hiding to this day, baby. He's at Charlie's Vacuums. Okay, no, that wasn't it. All right, well... Let's just keep pulling from that, all right? He kept running after he went by Charlie's vacuum to drop off his favorite vacuum cleaner. He kept running down the river along the bridge until he got to Cooper's Cave Bridge officially and dived off of the bridge to get into what I, what did I fucking say? 
Cooper's cave. Chat. He's in Cooper's cave. Are you starting to see how cool this fucking game is? Are you, are you starting to see why this game is fucking super fucking cool? All right, we got him. We know where he is. So by the way, we're getting all this stuff in real time really quickly. When this game was out, these levels were coming out over time. So like, you would finish that mission and they would say, all right, agents, we're going to go get the guy. And then the next mission would come out a week later and you would get the next part of the story. We get it all at once, but this game originally was released like as a drip feed over the course of like, a, like two years. <laughs> We have recovered the body of Agent Taylor from Cooper's cave. He didn't make it, man. He didn't fucking make it. We were just a second fucking too late, chat. He died. This is officially where you guys are going to understand why we can't beat Whitechapel, okay? Because this challenge, I've solved all these already. And that's why I've been able to clear them out pretty quickly. But um, this one here is actually fucking unbelievably hard and i'm going to take it slow to walk you through my logic because i actually did it legit fully legit there are answers for this one it's that niche of like a puzzle okay there are no answers there's just hints that like other players put in that aren't even helpful okay this is fucked missing agent we have recovered the body of Agent Taylor from Cooper's cave. Our coroner is now working on preparing an autopsy report, but for now, your help is needed deciphering a note found on in his jacket pocket. We believe that this note is the hint to unlocking the safe found on Agent in Agent Taylor's car. So chat, for context, what we are doing right now is we need to solve, we need to unlock this safe. That's right, I have to do safe puzzles. Okay, we are finding the fucking combination to this safe using exclusively the information that we were just given and that we already have, okay? Let's take a look at this other picture quick. This is all the information we get for this entire solution is this here. A fucking post-it note to solve this entire safe combination. Now you might be thinking, oh, easy. These post-it notes are fucking, it's obvious as shit. You just do some multi, you just do some simple addition. Three, six, nine, blah, blah, blah. Punch those all in, six numbers, easy. That would be easy, wouldn't it? If that were it, but that would be too easy, wouldn't it? That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? That'd be way too easy. No, chat. We have to go deeper than that. First, of course, we need to decipher what these symbols actually mean. It would have to be something, of course, that the agent had on him at all times and would be able to decipher with his current belongings. Of course, naturally, correct? It would have to be something that the agent, of course, would have on him at all times. He's a field agent, Chad. This has to be stuff that he'd have on him. Information that he would have on him at all times, Chad. What would the agent have on him at all times that were discovered on his body at all times? Prose Edda, Snorri Sturluson. We have to look up Snorri Sturluson's Prose Edda. We must go deeper. The Prose Edda, also known as Younger Edda, Snor Edda, or historically simply as the Edda, is an old Norse work of literature. This guy likes Norse mythology, chat. He likes North mythology, okay? He likes Norse mythology, all right? We have to go deeper. We have to go deeper, all right? We have to go even deeper. Deeper. More crazy. All of this is something we'd have to go through, all right? But we're gonna cut a corner here because we know this guy likes North, North, <laughs> my tongue is going crazy. We know he likes his North bullshit. So we also know this is a code. We know already that these fucking symbols are a code. To what? We don't know yet, but we actually, we know, we know it's a code to his fucking safe, but we need to decipher still. So these are probably related to something Norse. So, let's look up, specifically, Norse cipher. Cipher runes. These are cipher runes. 
specifically. Right there. These are cipher runes. These are specifically tent text. These are tent characters, tent runes, if you will. So, chat, in order to solve this conundrum, you would have to decipher tent runes, which is what we're going to do. Using the classic, baby. <laughs> we're going to solve this using the classic, baby. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to look up how to decipher tent runes. All right. Cipher runes. These are very, these are a popular thing. But fortunately for us, if you scroll down far enough, we can cut some of the bullshit out because in 2019, a good fucking Samaritan six fucking months ago, three years after this came out, made a much easier fucking system to decipher them because otherwise we'd have to navigate through a lot of extra bullshit chat. This fucking godsend from the beyond is the only reason I was ever able to solve this puzzle. Because otherwise you literally have to navigate through fucking like 20 pages and actually learn basic tent rune translation in order to solve this puzzle. The literal game devs wanted you to learn fucking tent rune to open this goddamn safe. That is where this game wants you to go, is literally solving tent rune Norse cipher. All right? This game is fucked, okay? And this was the, f I actually, I found this fucking Reddit thing. I did solve this all naturally though. I used this Reddit page to solve it and translate it, but I did, all right, it did, if I didn't have this fucking glorious, Reddit post to help me solve it. I would have never. I literally would have never solved it. Okay, this that's how fucked these puzzles get. Is it required you to grab fucking info from the past missions to what the guy had on him? And we aren't done. This isn't done. There's more to the puzzle than just this. We still have to convert it and then figure out how it relates to the fucking safe. Okay, so we're not done. All right. So in order to translate Futhark runes, you read these in a clockwise manner. Based off of the row and column. So, two, five goes to two, row two, column five, which makes this an AWAS, which is why. All right, so we need to do these in relation to the tent runes from our actual display. So, this is two, one, which makes the first letter. I'm actually gonna get out a notepad to do this properly. The first letter of our poor agent's code is two one, row two, column one. So row two, column one, Hagalaz. So we've got an H. H is the first letter. This is H. Next, we have row three, column three. Okay. Row three, column three is Awas. H E. All right. Now to the next one. Two eight. So Sorry, one eight. <laughs> one eight. Don't fuck it up or you'll go crazy. One eight. One eight. So row one. Letter eight. W. Wunjo. Hugh. Right now we have H E W. Next. Three five. Row three. Column five. L. Huel. Next. <laughs> two three. Row two, column three. Row two, column three, I. Huli. And this is one, one again. Wait, no, 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 no. This is, two, this is three, three again. We already have a three, three. So we know that that's an E. So the letter, the word we have is Huli, Chet. But, Chet, you can't punch Huli into a fucking safe, Chet. So naturally, next you'd say, okay. I can't punch Huli into a safe. I guess I should go to my crypto page that lets me do all my cipher bullshit and see if this converts to anything. Let's put Huli into text. Does this convert to numbers that fit in a safe combination? Doesn't look like it. Looks like a lot of bullshit. 
technically we could grab the hexadecimal the decimal and try to do some bullshit there but none of them convert chat this part i was stuck on for two hours because it requires you again to pull specifically knowledge from what the agent has on him that he could use to decipher a code with just his current possessions. What does he have on him currently in the real world that he could use to convert specifically to one through nine code with a cell phone? Hang on chat, I have to go grab my literal fucking cell phone. Because we gotta open our fucking keypads on our phone! Chat! <laughs> Everyone open their phones, what you'd use to call someone with. Alright? Because we gotta punch this in based off of the fucking numbers that the letters are attached to on a fucking dial phone, chat. That is how you get the safe combination, chat. H. H is on the four button. So the first number in the safe is a four. H. E is a three. E. L. L is a five. Sorry, we need a W first. W. W is a nine. Then a five. Four, three, nine, five. I. I is on the four again. And then E, which is a three. And that is an advanced difficulty puzzle in Black Watchmen. And as far as I dare go in Whitechapel. All right? That didn't seem so bad. That didn't seem so bad because I literally walked you through the whole thing. All right? <laughs> Don't be like, that's not that bad. It's not bad because I literally just walked you through it, bud. If you didn't have any of the guidance that I just dropped there, you'd be fucking scratching your head not even realizing you had to go back to... You know how fucked that is? <laughs> you know how fucked the phone one is? That is fucked. The phone one, yeah, sure, the tent room thing, maybe not so much. Without the Reddit picture, I don't know how you'd fucking solve that. But, chat, the phone thing's fucked. That's fucked. All right, that is a fucked fucking pull. And that's what this game wants you to do. Numpad isn't that outrageous. Chat, the people that are saying this are shitheads that don't fucking, that literally just got walked through it. Don't ever forget that. All right? People are like, it's not that bad. I could solve this in my sleep. You did just get walked through by me. Remember that you did just get a fucking 15 minute walkthrough of the entire puzzle by me in real time to solve it. All right. I saw no one post the answer before Tomato told anyone. True, 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 very true. Either way, chat, if you want to check out the rest of Whitechapel, you can do that on your own fucking time, all right? This one's cursed. I dare not open the next fucking mission of it because this is what they call advanced, all right? We're on our own advanced one. We've got we've got an advanced campaign of our own in the main campaign still to do. So we're going back to the clinic now. All right, we're gonna keep doing the actual campaign because I dare not fucking do any more Whitechapel because that one, that one's fucking crazy. Okay, I I I, I that one, that one's pretty fucking rough. I mean, yeah, they're solvable and you'd figure it out in time. But chat, here's the problem with the, here's the problem with this game. A lot of things, the one thing that people are not fucking taking into account when they say, oh, I can solve this super easy. This game wants you to think so fucking much that eventually you start to overthink. All right? And that's when it fucks you. Is when... Because, like, it's not that you couldn't arrive at the answer of a keypad. The problem is that you arrive at a billion other answers first because keypad seems way too fucking easy. Right? So you're saying, uh, yes, mm, it's got to be something in the hexadecimals. Uh, it's got to be something in the cipher. Hang on, I have to go back into the fucking machine. There's got to be some way this converts with the Norse thing. All right. It's got to be something on Facebook. The spot looked no different than any other in the valley. The only reason the detectives were combing the desert was because the cadaver dogs had picked up the smell of decomposition. Finally the search for the missing there has been an update in the rosenberg clinic case listen to the new audio intel in the archive regarding their experiments and determine the focus of their research to its inevitable end this is what we signed up for
This is the work we do. Let's do this, Chet. We gotta stop that clinic. They're doing unlicensed human experimentation. And it's up to us, the Black Watchmen, to put an end to it, baby. Wiretap. New audio intel has been uploaded to the archive regarding the experiments at the Rosenberg Clinic. Determine the focus of the experiments. The conversation. Recording of Dr. Nathaniel's phone conversation in the archive. Determine the focus. Got it. All right, what do we got here? Hang on, just pull it into the browser. These fucking, the pages are terrible for viewing fucking images. Message to Division 79 Agents. Surveillance Team 7631769. Greetings, Agents. Mike here from Surveillance Team 7631769. While you were pushing pencils over at Division 79 HQ Melting Pot, me and my team have been busy monitoring the MDR9VG facility. After a few nights with nothing to report, we finally found something useful. We recorded a phone call between the agent, well, Mario, Dr. Mario is MDVGR9, whatever. Uh, and a third party. No intel on who was on the other side of the call, but it seems important, so I uploaded it for you to work on. I made a special nine-character archive call number just for you. HQ keep telling me you're smart analyst, good at research, so here you go. Oh, you're gonna puzzle me, huh? That's what we're doing now? This ain't even a chat. The fucking Black Watchman. This is an unsanctioned puzzle. The fucking agent at the fucking... He's just giving me an extra bullshit right now. He's giving me extra bullshit to keep me from getting the answer, is what he's doing. If you are as smart as the brass thinks you are, it should be a breeze. You can enter the answer in the archive to get the phone call. Growing up in Moscow, I heard of a movie showing a machine that reanimated a dead dog. I never believed the story as a child, but now the film is online for all to see. I make archive call numbers same as the machine in the film. Robot. Dog. Moscow. Bulat and the robot dog. Mm. Robot dog movie. 80s. Chomps, huh? Well, 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 chomps. You thought you could get away. You little bastard, chomps. This definitely has nothing to do with the dark fucking subject matter of Black Watchmen. It's probably about Chomps the Robot Dog, the 1979 classic. Wait, it got a 5.0 out of 10. By Don Chafee. It's not Chomps. <laughs> Chad, I hate to bring it to you. Uh, it's, it's probably not going to be Chomps. Uh, because this doesn't explain. Uh, young man vents a robot dog. Ah, it's a robot dog. We want robot dog brought back to life with Russian experimentation. So let's let's yank it back. Robot dog reanimated with dog reanimated Moscow. Let's look up that. Watch Soviet scientists bring a dog's decapitated head back to life. Warning contains imagery. I can't. I don't think I can show you guys the actual head. All right, I think I'm, I think Twitch might get pissy at that one. So I'm going to quickly um pop in. Okay. I'm gonna do a quick pop in. Uh, I'm not. I don't think I actually need to watch it. I just need the name of the machine. Book Rohenko. Uh, that's the name of the scientist. This isn't actually showing this dog, so I can show you this part. There's nothing. There's nothing actually showing it. Uh, it's as fucked up as it sounds. I actually remember seeing it. Uh, those pieces, while important to life, do not make life. The next step was to reanimate an entire head, brain, face, and all by pumping oxygenated blood through the arteries with the help of a contraption called the autojector. All right. Autojector. Uh, that's not... Do you want a free book? Uh, no. I fucking don't want a free goddamn book. 10 character archive call number. It's autojector 10 characters? It is. I feel like I need numbers in this thing. Uh, but let's try punching it in anyways. Autojector. All right, yep, that's it. We got it. We don't need to see the dog, chat. We don't need to see the dog. Let's take, let's give this thing a listen. Hello? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Uh, ho hold on, just let me get the door. All right. Uh, I'm doing well, thanks. And yourself? Good, good. Excellent. I think you were in Egypt the last time we spoke. God, skip the bullshit. I'm aware, but 
Yes, I understand the cost, but you need to understand the time it takes, especially when dealing with samples as unique as the... Go on. Rosenberg. Go yes. on. Yes, I know, but, but how long did it take him? Go on. The fire took everything, so we're starting from scratch here. Go on. Uh, of course. Y yes, yes, we're making progress. Go on. Uh, the samples? Go on. Uh, the more testing we do, uh, the more extraordinary they become. Go on. I couldn't believe it when we got the dates back. Uh, bone marrow only remains usable days after death, not... Uh, it's bone marrow. I was positive there was a mistake, so I had, I had them run it through again. The results came back the same. The focus of their experiments is bone marrow, chat. I can tell because the game says it's a fucking four-letter word followed by a six-letter word. Bone marrow. They're experimenting on bone marrow. Simple as that, baby. That wasn't very hard. Not compared to advanced case solve the fucking death safe with a cell phone. Improved methods. Recent emails from Dr. Nathaniel suggest a more effective form of the sus substance in use. Determine the physical state of the new substance. Gas. Liquid. Liquid. <laughs> solid. Liquid, solid, gas. Plasma. Piece of cake, baby. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. Go to hell. Let's at least look at what the details were. Email exchange between subject uh, Nathaniel, Mario Nathaniel, an unknown party, uh, concerns experiments at Rosenberg Clinic. New substance has been very effective. Sorry for the mass email. Just wanted to ask a favor. I'm reading up on my British history. This is what I've been reading about so far. Any suggestions on what's next? Uh, so this game probably wanted me to fucking... Uh, ID the fact that almost every single one of these British fights uh, took place, I'm guessing, on the ocean. Ocean. Liquid. That's what I'm assuming is what it wanted me to do, was say, all right, if I search all these fights, they probably, they were probably overseas or some bullshit like that. So I was supposed to uh, connect the dots on liquid, but it gave me a six-letter word, so I just ran with it, all right? <laughs> I just ran with it. Whatever this thing they're experimenting with, it's liquid. Okay, simple as that. Let's move on. We're going in deeper, the substance. Come down this Sunday to the Garavito Grand Slam and help raise money for sick kids. Every year, more than 15,000 children are diagnosed with cancer in the U.S. The oh. Garavito Grand Slam will raise $100,000 to help those children. The you guys gotta stop parking so quickly, dude. <laughs> you guys really need to hold your parks. We need to learn more about these tests. But something must be done. We are hosting a charity softball tournament, selling raffle tickets, hot dogs, and beer to raise money to support the kids. This Sunday, you can make a difference. Woo! All right, chat, let's get to it. This is a sing- Oh, this is a big fucking mission. I'm 100%- If a mission- if, a, if you open one of these orbs, chat, and it is a one mission orb, it means fuck you, you're gonna be here for like, a, like at least 20 minutes solving this. So let's get to it. Dr. Myrick. Use document recovered in Dr. Myrick's recycling bin to obtain access to intranet. Uncover the names of the substances used in the new tests. Right. Archive call number AD79K4. 79K4. What exactly do we have here? Oh boy. I. Hang on. Let's not look at this yet. Let me just. Let me connect the dots on what else we have here. Because that's. I need to access her fucking, like, login passwords from a receipt. Oh my god, I really have to access her lo- I have to decipher what her login is from a receipt. Okay, chat, let's fucking connect all the dots slowly and carefully. First of all, let's go to rosenbergclinic.com. Rosenbergclinic.com 
These are the folks we're after. They're hiding something from us, chat. The Rosenberg Clinic. Human experimentation. Let's get to the bottom of it. Copy the clipboard. I like typing it. Rosenberg Clinic is a private medical facility that specializes in advanced treatment of sleep, mood, and psychotic disorders using the latest advancements in the field of neurology. Our highly trained multidisciplinary team of doctors provide personalized assessment and treatment of people of all ages founded by Dr. Adam Rosenberg, one of the forerunners in the field of neurology. The clinic seeks to help our patients overcome whatever preventing them, whatever is preventing them from living life to their true potential. Are they open right now? What time is it right now? 644, they closed. All right, they closed. You don't have to worry about them catching us. Uh, they got an archive. Password protected, can't get in there. Intranet is what we're supposed to be logging into, but that means they need an email address and a password. Uh, wait, where's the... I didn't open it yet. Okay, hang on, give me a sec. Oh, wait, oh, oh it's in the archives. Okay. All right, this is... This is Dr. Shanna Myrick. I'm not seeing an, uh, an email in here, but I'm seeing a lot of receipts. Dr. Shanna Myrick is who we're going to get the password from. All right, Dr. Shanna. Show me your dark secrets, Dr. Shanna Myrick. Show me your, your freaky surprises, Doctor. May 22nd, 2015, when the balance was due. She's really into coffee. Uh, Rodney phones. She likes phones. Insurance. She bets uh, on sports. She's into sports betting. She might like, she might like sports. Gelato fruitery, fruitery chat. Here's what I'm doing right now. I'm operating on a grim assumption. I'm going to have to decipher her password based off of her preferences, like real world style. Matter of fact. Oh no. There is another picture. This report was prepared by Social Engineering Team 6 in support of the mission to investigate the Rosenberg Clinic. What follows is a short briefing on breaking into intranet or other personal accounts. We advise reviewing all information about a subject and trying to discern patterns or, signif or significant data slash interests from their personal profile. For example, if John Smith's mobile phone telephone data shows that he visits a cafe every second Thursday during jazz night, the name of the jazz performer could be a possible password that is used for their online accounts. When attempting to crack a password, try terms related to names of preferred foods or snacks, loved ones, hobbies, and interests. Sports teams or athlete names, hometowns or current cities, spending habits or musicians or writers. Personal effects that may indicate a preferred item, brand name, or subject should be evaluated as a potential password. Brute force time, baby. Let's get to it. <laughs> let's get to it through our fucking receipts. All right. First of all, let's grab her email. Uh, how are we going to get that? Team. She's on the team, so she should have... Shauna Myrick is a fucking granny, dude. Fucking hell, Shauna. Shauna Myrick. Born in Winnipeg. Uh, Dr. Myrick is a graduate of the University of Toronto MD in McGill University. She's a grandma, so she's probably got a very bad, poorly sustained password. Okay. Prior to joining Rosenberg Clinic, she worked as a surgeon at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center in Toronto, Ontario. Her work on neurological injury is... is it, and its implications for BDNF secretion was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. S. Myrick at RosenbergClinic.com Fucking idiot. Fucking goddamn moron. What a moron. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Coffee. The password's coffee. Espresso. <laughs> the password's espresso. Nope. Sports. The, the password, sports. All right, fine. Fine, fine. We're going deeper. We're going deeper. Chat. Let's look up Pico Espresso Bar for starters. Not just another coffee shop. Welcome to the Piccolo Espresso Bar. Where you live? Quebec, Montreal, huh? Business hours, they're not open today. This is way too much fucking detail, but I'm gonna look for their products and see if there's anything involving espresso. Oh, I'm not finding anything. It's can't, it can't be this. It cannot be this place. 
There's too much here. There's too much here. This is, well, that, we're going to leave this page open. We might need to double back to it, but I don't think that's anything yet. Uh, gelato fu fruitery. Gelato fruitery. That's just gelato. Quebec. Nah, it's nothing here. Unless it's gelato perino. <laughs> there he is, man. There's the world famous gelato kid. When were you guys made? What's your site's age? Tell me. What's your gelato products like? Hmm? Roasted almond eggnog. What's your site's copyright? When does it expire? That tells me if you're real or not. You real? You real site or you some fake? All right, that's another thing. Let's just open up everything that could be something. Pain Boisson. We're looking for stuff that there's a lot of. And currently, of everything on this list, Sportsbet365 Incorporated is the highest for sure. So she likes sports a lot. She really likes sports. There's a lot of stuff for sports on this, more than anything else on this list. She bets a lot. Let's... First of all, look her name up and see if she's got a Facebook. Like, legit. Like, that's the next step here, is to see if she's got a, any social media presence. She's a grandma. She's definitely got a Facebook. Okay, so we're just going to grab her name here. Punch it into the search engine. Shanna Myrick. Shanna? Let's look up Shanna Myrick, uh... Rosenberg. No, I don't think it's anything there other than fucking spoilers for the game. Okay. Well, let's instead uh, grab where she l worked. University of Toronto, MD, McGill University. What are, what are your preferences, Shanna? Let's look at... I got an idea. What sort of sport? Sports Bet 365 Incorporated, 8 4 2015. Let's see what games were happening on August 4th, 2015. Sports Bet. Okay, and try to get an idea of what her favorite like sports are. Okay. YNCA basketball apparel. Okay, basketball. It's a best. It's a sport. She likes a basketball. She likes basketball. Canada fucking hates basketball. I, I know that for a goddamn fact Canada does not play basketball. So she probably likes a, a U.S. sports team, all right? Into basketball. Sportsbet.com. Sportsbet 365. Let's look up the date of one of these fucking things. 8-4-2015. 8. 4, 4, 2015. That's a virus. That's nothing. Let's search eight. Let's search sports bet. I'm getting a virus. I'm currently installing a virus under my computer. <laughs> All right, close it. No, we're in. All right, it's fine. We're in. We're getting a virus, but we're in. Can I see games that happened back in the day? Can I see old games? I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm. Bet365 is a real betting site? I know. Chet. Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know. What's her favorite team? I think we need her favorite team. Unfortunately, Shanna Myrick, um, unless I'm going to actually just browse fucking Facebook to try to find her, can open it for like a second. There's no Shanna Myrick in there. All right, Shanna Myrick does not have a Facebook. But does she have a Twitter? You tweet, Shanna? You tweet? Shanna, you like tweets? No, she likes SNL. Wait a minute. When did she start tweeting? 2016. And then she stopped tweeting and fucking... She joined September 2016, huh? Extremely suspicious, frankly. Mm, sh 
Shanna. Shanna, Shanna. You like basketball, Shanna? Dallas. Have fun, Dallas. Last week, I was a Friday, people. I don't think- I think this is just some random person's fucking account. And I'm just spooking on someone's random Twitter. <laughs> hang on, hang on, but it might not be that. Dallas! Basketball! Mavericks! <laughs> Never let anything fool you just yet, chat! Don't let anything fool you just yet! What's your email, Shanna? How you feel about the Mavericks? I'm, a, I'm throwing out a wide net, Shanna. I'm throwing out a real wide fucking net for you. Mavericks. <laughs> Fuck you, Shanna. Fuck you. I'm in. It was her. You guys fucking thought it was a fake. You guys thought that was some random fucking person. That was a, that was actually Shanna's account. You guys are so fucking stupid. Bada bingus, bada bam. I'm in, baby. Nine times out of ten, he's the best around. This guy's fucking nuts. Shannon Lindsay. What were you up to? Monitored area positively affected by liquid M55 administered up to 20 milliliters at concentration of 0.15. All attempts at a greater dose were unsuccessful. The correct dose of M55 produced desired effects almost immediately. Further tests are required. She was in the fucking picture. She was, but it looked a lot younger. It was a much younger picture. All right, all I'm going to say is that the years have not been well to Shanna Myrick. Okay. <laughs> Because that picture, she looked a thousand times better than she looks in this one. Uh, that's what threw me off. It looked like her, and that's why I was thinking it was her. But, like, I mean, chat, honestly, the real clue for this game is, did the person make their account in 2016? Yes, that's them. All right, if they, if they exist, they made an account, and on top of that, they stopped posting in 2017, hate to break it to you, that's the game. All right, that, that was, that's why I stayed as long as I did, was that they started posting in 2016 and stopped in, like, 2018, which is when the devs stopped developing the game. So... <laughs> Monitored areas show immediate sustained growth. Patients begin, patients begin immediately convulsing after injection, but all spasms cease after 55 section, seconds. No pain reported. Patient appears calm but alert. Immediate sustained growth. Monitored areas show immediate blah, blah, blah growth. Heavy perspiration. Active, uh, mon immediate growth, grinding teeth, mouth guard applied, all signs of exposure, blah, 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 blah. Injection areas show continued growth. Attempts to break restraints, heavily agitated. Sedatives applied. Patient has not slept since last injection. Restraints remain intact. Monitors, monitored area continues to change and grow without an injection. Hemorrhaging from nose and ears began overnight, continued steadily. Patient in state of shock, Little response to any stimuli. Concerning, but we have the number. A uh, three letter word, it's M55 is the name of the compound. That's the substance being used in the new tests. Chat, tell me this game wasn't ahead of its time. And I, God, I wish this game got more attention when it fucking came out because it is so cool. This game is so fucking cool and it's such a shame that it did not get that popular in like real time when it was actually happening. But these devs went on to make Night Team 4, which I highly recommend if you like hacking games. Because that game, it's very accessible. You don't need to know a lot about hacking to be able to play it. It's mostly like on-screen tools that are like just all UI stuff. It's really good. I'd recommend it if you are, if you are enjoying this or buy this fucking game. Because I'm definitely not going to be not going to have time to get through all of it on stream. Okay? Buy this fucking game and play it because like it's fucking awesome. This game is like one of the coolest experiences I've had all year. The clinic social engineering. Gain internal access to the Rosenberg clinic supplier and investigate further. If you guys thought I was done socially engineering just last level, you were wrong. I gotta go bathroom. You guys watch these worms.
The process is necessary, although it occurs slightly differently in every case. There are similarities. All organisms pass through the same ordered stages of... Uncover the supplier of the liquid substance used at the Rosenberg Clinic and exploit communication channels to gain strategic intel on their organization. This process releases gases that cause the unmistakable putrid odor of decaying flesh. Once this stage begins, the body cavity fills with fumes and the cadaver starts to become bloated. I love worms. Again, again. You guys wanna watch it again? You guys wanna watch it again, huh? All right, let's keep going. God, this game's so much fucking fun. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm like getting sweaty because I think it's so fucking good. Using the recent browser history from Dr. Nathaniel's computer, find the company with a clear link to the clinic's latest experiments. All right, all we have is a list of names. <laughs> you, want, you guys want brute force? <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys, you guys want to just like punch them all in till we get one that works and skip the search engine completely? You guys want to just punch these all in like an asshole? Because we're just going to have to search them and half of them are going to be real and the other, well, the other one's going to be like, I'm a bad guy. And we already know that's going to happen. Alright? So if I just search like, I don't know, I'm going to start like the bottom. Taxo Global. No. Cotsem Pharma. This is where the game sort of falls apart is when it gives you the option to do this. Uh, Wilton Biotech. Dromega. Mod Genix. If none of these come out, then I actually have to play the game again. Oh no. Please God. Super Terum Life Sciences. That one sounds evil. <laughs> I'm in baby, it was Super Terum all along. It was them! Yeah, I mean, these are like, chat, like, this one's like the fucking prequel to the actual challenge of the mission. Like, that's usually how these go, is that the first one's like the, oh, hey, open this site now if you know it's good for you. So don't mind me, I gotta search Super Terum real quick and grab that website before we go forward. Super Terum, uh, Life Sciences. I'm just gonna look this up quick. They have a Facebook page. Dude, I'm pogging. I'm pogging, man. I, I haven't said- I rarely say that I'm pogging right now. They got a Facebook, baby. What a shocker. They stopped- This is- it, it just, Wait, they posted in 2019. They updated their website address. Okay, well, I've got their website. We're probably going to be using their info uh, coming up right now. So let's get- let's get to it. This is an advanced difficulty level, so, uh... Obtain the employee access pin for inspecting supply orders using social engineering. Everyone get a stretch in. This one's probably gonna be fucked. <laughs> Ugh! Alright. Let's tango. QW32FC. Alright. What is this? Exploiting people for fun and profit. Social media, social engineering attacks and techniques. Oh, all right, what do we got here? Social engineering. Social engineering is the act of using pervasive techniques and deceptive tactics to manipulate people into divulging confidential information. Takes advantage of ingrained cognitive biases. Key social engineering attacks, pretexting, creation of a scenario that would make it easier for a target to reveal information, time sensitive and involving authority. Quid pro quo, performing an action that is beneficial to the target in return for favors. Aim is to create a feeling of indebtedness. Pretexting example, Mr. Johnson said he needs those company files immediately before he boards his flight. I don't even want to think of how mad he'll get if they're not sent right away. You gotta help me out, man. That's pretty good. Pred -qu -pred pro quo example. Hey, Brian from sales here. Sent a pizza down to you guys in tech for making the transition to the new database so easy. Thanks for your help. By the way, could you reset the password to my company account? It seems like I'm locked out. 
adapt to the scenario like a lizard adapts to a branch, chat. Mind your P's and Q's. Very important that you appear polite and informed. Remember that about areas your target is interested in. Main goal is for any social engineering task is to establish legitimacy in the mind of your target like a lizard to a branch. Don't act like this fucking asshole. You've got mail. Social engineering through emails sent to the target has proven to be a successful method for obtaining confidential information done by using personal information about the target and appearing trustworthy. Fill in the blanks. A list of highly effective email templates designed by the social engineering team at Division 66 are available to you at the archive GF95YN. Get all the information you need from the target through OSINT, social media forums, etc. Go forth and SE. TBW has a tremendous success using SE in BlackRock and Reach More cases. They are extremely useful and powerful. Use these techniques with care and be ethical, like this guy. All right, let's punch in this code and just get on over, get on over to the, de the template for later, because we're probably, chat by sounds of it, we send in emails now. Uh, so let's just get this punched in. In order to effectively gain information from your target, we at SET have created an email template for social engineering. We'll get to that when we actually have enough info to work off of it. So chat, let's take a look at what else we have for our work today. That's the template, we have that. Facebook Intel archive call number Super Terum Intel. Do I? Mm, I don't think I need that. I already have all the info I need. I don't. I don't need a fucking extra hand. That's like an extra hand holding bullshit. I got this without that. I don't need it. I don't need like. I think I already have the Facebook. I already opened it by searching it. So we're good. All right, chat. Let's get to the deep dive. Super Terum, contact us. Bria Sederland. <laughs> Is that a full name? You want me to write, hang on, write that down. <laughs> write that down, that's real easy. Bria. Setter. Lund. At superterram.org. All right, let's take a look around just to be sure before we go and check that out. Uh, ground consists of five acres of mixed terrain, blah, 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 supplies, nothing really that special. They sell bone marrow and skin tissue. That's pretty epic. Donating, I don't want to do that. Body donor, now nah, I'm good. Social media, yep, they've got a Facebook page, and I'm pretty sure it's the one I'm already on. Yep. 318 people like it. 318 people like this place. But what we want, chat, is to access their community. Okay, let's just toad. Put the hat on. Uh, that's nothing. What is the weakness? Ah, uh, yes. Countering subversion by the U.S. deep state. I just wanted to say thank you so much for the opportunity to intern at your facilities this summer. I find you work with decomposition research fascinating. Wow. Can I get a uh, one human leg, please? Can I order one leg, please? <laughs> For the record, these are actual players that are just, like, fucking trolling the main accounts for the game. <laughs> Can I get one leg? Can I buy a human leg? What does the toad mean, though? I don't know. About... M me. Message me. I'm not gonna touch that. Let's, uh... Let's look up Bria Sederland. Alright, Bria. You've got a Facebook... Big mistake having one of those in the modern era. They are updating their account. But they do work at Super Terran Life Sciences, so this is them. Or it's a deep cut, and this is a player that's fucking with us. All right, anything's possible at this point, chat. But we need our information. We need everything we can get. We already know our email, but we need to formulate... We need to formulate a deep fucking bit of information about her. Okay, where's that template? Uh, to use this template to its best effect, all fields must be filled in with accurate information. Target name, target company, blah, 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 blah. Here's a template. Hi, target name. I'm new at target company, and my first week has been great. And I am really happy to hear from your friend, co-worker name, that you're a huge fan of target favorite musician. I love that kind of music, too. 
I, I was looking forward to the next album. I want to just introduce myself and ask if you are free next Friday. If so, we should go see in target interested movie slash sports game. I think it'd be a great way to get to know each other. Also, I want to know what the pin for your orders to the access portal was. They, they left a note on my desk about it, but I must have misplaced it and I'm a bit embarrassed to ask for another one. Thanks, insert fake name. Let's see if she falls for the fucking most obvious phishing attempt ever created by mankind. It's time, Chad, let's get to work. Bria, 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 it was your birthday on May 5th. What are your likes and dislikes, Bria? She also has a Twitter. No, she has a Tumblr. I refuse to navigate to that. Hmm, her friends. These are going to be relevant because we need to grab a friend. Remember, we need a friend. We need a friend. Preferably a co-worker that also works at Super Terra. All right, so let's get to it. Let's scroll down. Wait a minute. Let's go to the about section, see what he likes and dislikes. Secretary at Super Terran, studied at the office of South Texas College. She likes a sports team from the South Texas College. Uh, friends, I care not. Work and education, Super Terran. Places lived, don't care. Basic info, don't care. Family and relationships, single, no family members. Details about Bria. Go horns, go. Big fucking mistake, Bria. You just gave me everything I need to know. You just gave me everything I need to know. I know you're talking about the Texas Longhorns! One of the world's most famous basketball- I think it's basketball, I don't fucking know. But it's Texas college football. Everything I need to know for now. You like things, big mistake. Choose to chance the rapids and dare to dance the tide. Whoever has ears, let them hear. We, we're all made of stars, quoted by my best, best friend forever, forever, Stacy. Okay, I know she's not the first to say it, but still. Big mistake having us best friend named Stacy that's probably a public friend on your Facebook, Bria. Big mistake outing Stacy like that, cause now I have everything I need to take you down, down, down. Life events. Okay, there's nothing in there. Let's go to her timeline. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Thanks for having me as your friend, you are great. Garth Brook rocks. Thanks for the ad, hope you're doing great. I totally forgot. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, Garth Brooks from Bria Sir. Thanks, Stacy, for the awesome present. I love it. Stacy? Garth Brooks. We got her fate. We got a band she likes. We got something she likes. Happy birthday. Fun little quiz. I got Trisha Yearwood. Which 90s female country singer are you most like? I want to know. Hang on. Here's your one chance, Fancy. Don't let me down. This image is no longer available. This image is no longer. This image is no longer. Where's the test? Where's the test? Buzzfeed! It's all gone! Wait, no, wait, 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 no, that's just actual Buzzfeed. I got Reba. She's my favorite. Reba's my favorite too, man. Reba's my favorite too. Buzzfeed really let me down today. He's so multi talented. Texas Longhorns, bada bing, chat. She likes the Texas Longhorns. Let me write this down. Okay, so we got our best friend is Stacy. Big fan of Garth Brooks. Likes the Texas Longhorns. We almost got her right where we want her. Stacy keeps sending me these surreal 27 surreal places to visit before you die from BuzzFeed. Number one, Zangyi Dangxia landform in Gansu, China. Number two, some treehouse. 
Fuck that. No, 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 no. I don't even... I'm not even memeing here. Fuck that. Uh-uh. Don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Nah. No, 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 no. Don't put my life ever in the fucking hands of ropes. She's looking like that because she's trying to find a way to jump back to the fucking land. Mm-mm. No. No, no, no. Big hole? I don't think so. Uh... Bullshit, bullshit, cave, bullshit, bullshit, trash, bullshit, 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 big hole, bullshit, bullshit. Okay, we're moving on, we're moving on, we're moving on, we're out of here, we're out of here, we're out of here. <laughs> Alright, anything else with Bri I need to know before I get to work? She loves the Texas Longhorns and Garth Brooks. Yeah, it's definitely those two. All right, Stacy, Texas Longhorns. She never shuts the fuck up about Stacy. Jesus, like she's obsessed with Stacy at this point. Going for some barbecue with my girl Stacy after work today. Always, we always go to Silverado Smokehouse. Want to try something new? Any suggestions? Silverado Smokehouse, huh? No more suggestions from me, Bria. I've got everything I need. Target company, already know it. Target name, already know it. Coworker name, already know it. Favorite musician, already know it. Targeted interested movie slash sports game. What's your favorite movies? Hang on, I want to know. I'm curious. We're probably going to say Longhorns. But if I wasn't doing Longhorns, what would I do? Got a favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? Bria? I don't care. I'm over it. All right, I'm over it. Let's get this done. Let's get the work done. Fake name. That's important. Okay, so, first of all, let me destroy the newest email you fucking degenerate sent me. What? Aztec Death Whistle from Hurdy Gurdy. Thank you for ordering an Aztec death whistle from the Cursed Artifacts and Hurdy Gurdy's Emporium. We know where you live. See you in three days to deliver the package, of course. It's time. Two. Bria. Sutherland. At. What's the fucking email? Superterrum.org. Subject. May. Hey. I'm new. Let's be friends. That's going to get her clicking. All right. Next. I'm actually going to open this up on a third tab using Chrome, the fucking template, so I don't have to switch to it like 30 times. Because I'm going to assume it wants the punctuation to be quite fucking accurate so let me just open this up on chrome on another tab just so i have it properly i don't fuck it up while i'm writing it all right chat let's get to it this time for all the marbles hi bria setterland should i just do bria is that too formal is bria setterland too formal chat i think i'm, I'm gonna do setterland i'm gonna do bria setterland Hi, Bria Sutherland, comma. I'm new at Super Tarum Life Sciences. <laughs> My first week has been great, and I was really happy to hear from your friend. Oh. Uh, Stacy. <laughs> Stacy. That you're that you're are. Hang on. 
that you're are a huge fan. We're gonna include the typo. I think that's to make it. I think that's deliberate. Chat. I think the typo is fucking deliberate because that shows that we are a human. That that makes us look human. All right. The typo is relevant. You're are a huge fan of Darth Brooks. Exclamation mark. I love that kind of music too. Looking forward. Even Google's telling me to fix this fucking typo. Looking forward to the next album. Smile, winky face. I wanted to just introduce myself. Muy wanted wanted to just introduce myself and ask if you were free next Friday. Smile, winky face, horny devil. If so, we should go see Texas Long Holds. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna get laughed at. I'm getting laughed at. This isn't gonna fucking work. If this works, you should get fired on the fucking spot. I think it'd be a great way to get to know each other full stop also i wanted to know what the pin for the orders access portal is they left a note on my desk about it but i must have misplaced it and I'm a bit embarrassed to ask for another one. Fix the typos. Everything's looking good. Thanks. Stinky Dink Johnson MD. And sent. Reply. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Send me a reply right now, you bitch. Come on now. Uh, oh. Hi there. <laughs> Fucking idiot. She actually fell for it. She actually fell for it. She actually fell for it. Hi there, haven't seen you around the office. Sorry you missed each other. I can't believe you like Garth Brooks too. I guess he won't mind if I have his album playing at the office, haha. -ha. I'm not sure what my plans are for the next what, little while, but I'll let you know when I'm free. Don't worry about losing the pin. These things do happen. It's pin number RGB55432443. If you can get into the order's access portal using that, hope to speak again. You fucking... Buffoon, you just got heckin' act by the greatest of the modern era. Me, Garlic Gaming MD. Now, I was just quickly. <laughs> I was gonna grab an. I was gonna post an ASCII of 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 something I shouldn't be emailing publicly on my Twitch stream. So I'm I'm not gonna do it. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I'm coming off of the high. I'm coming off the high of winning that. I was gonna send her an ASCII penis, dude. I was gonna. Okay. I mean, maybe I was gonna. But I, we're just gonna do it. With, we're gonna do the classic. Okay. <laughs> Hi 
Got him. Got him. They can't change the password fast enough to stop me now. I'm in, baby. Priya, see you in fucking hell. How about that? Okay. So. Uh, we've got the fucking info for it. So let's just punch that in. Another piece of cake social engineering job. This game's boring. This game's stupid. This game isn't interesting at all. It's too predictable. This game sucks. This game's boring. Go to hell. Huh? Because that was cool as shit. Win, baby. We got them right. Who said that? I don't know. I'd like to know. I'd like to find them myself. I'd love to know. All right. Let's keep moving. Man, I can't believe Tomato is trying to ruin Garlic Gaming's reputation, man. He fucking changed. Garlic Gaming fucking changed, man. He used to be so epic. And now all he does is send people cocks. <laughs> Pictures of fucking ASCII penises. It's different now. Things are different now. We keep moving. Get your lucky bat ready. Woo! The Karate Toe Grand Slam gets underway tomorrow. Yes! Come play ball. Eat a hot dog. I love hot and dogs. Put an end to cancer. Uh, yeah, I hate cancer. Fuck them. To arrive in the morning. Make them end. A surprise. As the ability to purify the liquid substance is a major asset of Super Terum Life Sciences. The agency needs to obtain the details of this process of Happy Hills Children's Hospital will be joining in the festivities. Step up to the plate and give these brave kids a second chance. Woo! Yeah! Okay. We have escalated access to the computer system of Super Terran Life Sciences. You must investigate internal documents to find any leads. We found a cargo manifest in the supplies portal. Analyze it for unusual information and identify any irregularities. <laughs> no, a good piece of cake. All right, check, give me five seconds. All right, uh, exam gloves, uh, 100 bucks, 42 pounds. Syringes, 60 pounds. Sharps container, 108 pounds. Hand gel sanitizer, 125. Bone saws, 99. What exactly is a Sharps container? Eight bucks for throwing out syringes. You're telling me a box for throwing out syringes weighs 108 pounds. Yeah, we'll see about that in hell, which is where you're going. Shut. That was supposed to be it. Sharps container. That's supposed to be it. Oral oh, syringes are also pretty heavy. Transfer pipes, glass test tube. Maybe they're full of things. It's a five number or letter combination that we need, which is why one court, one box. This is supposed to be a court. Oh, oh, I got it. I'm just gonna punch in the number. That's right, it's just that I have to punch in the number. It's irregular that it weighs 108.2 pounds. Because that's just an empty fucking box. As large as a quart. We got five of them. It's a regular that it, it weighs a hundred fucking pounds. Okay. Super Terum's website must be fully compromised. Identify a weakness that the network intrusion team can exploit to gain total access. Hackermans, dude. Hackermans. Let's reopen superterum.org and get this fucking underway. We need a, we need a fucking, we need something in here. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Hexmo plugin. Wait, hang on, I'm gonna see what happens if I go to hexmoplugin.com. Let's see. All right, I got a virus. It's hexmoplugin.com. Okay, we got him. It's Hexmo. It's being run by a virus site. Hexmo plugin. 
bada bing, baby. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a pretty big glaring uh, hole in the security. Chat, gonna be honest though, if you want a hacky game for real, play 19.4. It's fucking, it's very good. Like, like a 9 out of 10 game for me so far playing it. Very cool. Made by the same devs. Night Team 4? No, Night Team 4. It's on Steam. It's spelled with an N-I-T-E. Mission 10, Supplier Investigation. Dark Truths, Network Intrusion Team has retrieved internal files from the Super Terrams Network. Inspect them and find the source of the bodies. The bodies? <laughs> the bodies. Okay, uh, let me punch this into the archive site real quick. The bodies? Well, let's look through these here, see what we got. We're looking for bodies, Chet. Uh, log of arrivals and departures retrieved from Super Terrams database. Uh, a bunch of pharmaceutical and research companies. Looking good. Pharmaceuticals. These are all pharmaceutical companies. Looking for irregularities. Alright, we can look into all these specifically later, but they're all shortened, so it'd be a bitch to find them. So we're looking for something that stands out like fucking hard in here, okay? Uh, Jeremy, full details of meeting. Longhorns for the win! Nice job, Bria! Inbox of Super Terram Executive R. Norman. So this is an inbox. This might explain something here. Sunny Forest Orphanage thanks you for your support. This guy's donating to an orphanage. How kind of him. But what's he really up to? Charity drive bake sale. Shipments delivered at previous location. Funding possibilities. Hang on, what else is this guy? Keith? See more stuff. That orphanage one sort of skeeves me out. Let's try to see if he said anything else. No. I don't fucking trust that orphan. I don't trust this orphanage guy as far as I can fucking throw him, I swear to God. It's, it's orphans. <laughs> it's orphans! They're using orphans! Hang on, we gotta go deeper. We need to go deeper than that. And they're not using orphans for party parts. Email exchange, Super Tam Jahan. Ralph, as you know, we had an accident yesterday. A door was left unlocked, and one of the specimens escaped from facility B and almost made it to the perimeter. Luckily, the dog stopped him in time. We did not have a full blown incident on our hands. Hiring future production periods, and he speak with the supplier about possible sedation methods. That was June 28th, 2015. Hang on. I was trying to see. There's no dates on any of this stuff. Let's go to the last article. Uh, a bunch of shipments and stuff came in. Okay, everything here looks up and up. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just go out on a limb here. Okay. <laughs> and take a wild guess because everything else seems good. Ev nothing stands out to me on any of these but the orphans. It's not orphans. It's not orphans. It's not, it's not orphans. It couldn't be orphans. That's right, Chad. Of course. It can't be orphans. It, it, it can't be. It can't be specifically Sunny Forest Orphanage. <laughs> Can it? SFO deliveries. What do you mean, SFO deliveries? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, I don't see SFO deliveries in here. That's fine. There's no SFO deliveries. If there was, it'd be in here. Oh, wait. No, there they are. There they are. <laughs> yeah, they, they deliver the orphans. It's all orphans. All the bodies are orphans. All the bodies are orphans, Chet. The whole time, they've all been orphans. Orphan bodies. That guy on Facebook who was asking for a leg, who wanted to buy a leg, he wanted orphan meat. They wanted orphan meat, chat. They wanted specifically orphans. My God. The raid on Rosenberg. Security level increased. The raid has been made on Rosenberg Clinic. Go over and go over the findings of the raid. 
Decomposed, burned, mutilated. Whatever makes the corpse unrecognizable, it's up to us to identify the individual. If there's flesh on the bone, consider yourself lucky. The stage of decomposition must be noted. Agent, your security level has been increased. We must inform you of the past experiments of our agency. Our previous trials were unsuccessful, but it appears that those of the Rosenberg Clinic will yield positive results with M55. This must not happen. We sent a team in to raid their labs, but little was found. The facility was scrubbed clean, hardly anything mm -hmm. remained. Gather all possible intel on the site. Toad and Mario so are complicit. When analyzed against other indicators of time and cause, can be very useful. Chat Mario and Toad are in on it. They're in the, they're up to something. I, I can't prove it yet, but they're up to something. Our agency performed unsuccessful human testing on BDNF genes in the past. Review the report and enter the lab by you. <laughs> Incident report TI-98DC. You got it. TI-98TC. Pop this bad boy open. Uh, well, the lab ID is literally 3409. I'm positive that's it because it's a four-letter thing on this. But let's still read through what this thing's telling us. All right, for lore. Lab status. All personnel of Lab 3409 are inoperative. Plank are confirmed dead. All equipment is redacted. And the facilities have been fully compromised. Casualties were flown out to the Morpho facility in redacted for further testing. The few remaining personnel were found redacted and have all been successfully detained for questioning. Early reports suggest several of the survivors redacted. The local authorities have been successfully redacted site. Once a redacted of the facilities has been made, we will execute plan redacted and remove all traces of redacted from the site. Experiments on subject redacted, patient alpha, appear to be the cause of the redacted. The last report received from the lab on redacted indicates that blank, redacted, redacted. This was the first series of tests using the redacted. Patient alpha status has deteriorated after the incident. It is thought that she may have been redacted in the redacted. No traces of her redacted can be found on site. Patient Alpha. Is, this is entering SCP areas, chat. The redacted method is not an effective means of redacted. Highly volatile nature of the subject prior to redacted means her redacted cannot be redacted or studied. Room 89, where Patient Alpha was redacted, is currently undergoing analysis by Team Redacted using a total of redacted scan. Division 42 appears to have been mostly entirely redacted. The massive loss of life and, in, and valuable facilities caused by incident along with the lack of any effective redacted, suggests that testing of human exposure to rupture radiation and rupture fragments should be discontinued at this stage. We must work hard to ensure this setback does not harm our relations with redacted or the redacted government. Okay, well, uh, it's Lab Idea 3409. I, I don't know what to tell you on that one. Can you imagine getting stuck at redacted? Spooky fucking stuff, chat. Human beings and radiation don't mix, chat. How many times I gotta tell you this? You guys know it. You guys know the rules when it comes to me. Alright? You guys know the rules. <laughs> Uncover possible leads that could allow further investigation of the clinics of the clinic safe. Identify key intel on recent clinic medical advances. Alright. Lots of pictures. Let's take a look at these. Let's take a peek. Case reference, Rosenberg Clinic ID. It's all drugs. Nothing here that I can link to. But we might want to pop open the Rosenberg Clinic site. I'm guessing that's what this is. Yeah. I want to pop open the Rosenberg Clinic again. Dot com. My thumb, my fingers, I'm fat fingering. Dot com. Okay. All right, chat. Let's get to the bottom of this. Uh, anything in these ones? No? Goop? Lots of goop. Lots of goop in here. Awful lot of goop. But nothing that tells me any information that I can work with. I need... We need to identify key intel on recent clinical advances. And 
the game recommended that I hack in the intro. All right. All I think all that information is worthless right now. Our raid on the Rosenberg Clinic was unsuccessful. The facilities have been thoroughly cleaned prior to our arrival. No traces of compound M55 were found on site. Little was recovered from the offices of Dr. Nathaniel and Dr. Myrick or Dr. Parr. All relevant documents were missing and all computer systems had been wiped clean. Our teams were able to gather certain materials from their lab. All equipment gathered appears to have been recently cleaned with sterilizing agents with the residual amounts remaining. Analysis of these agents has yielded no concrete results. Mission 205089 is considered a failure. We're dead end. We got a dead end. Are you kidding me? But the game's giving me social engineering info. There's someone still out there at Rosenberg that's uninvolved with their bullshit that I can reach. I feel like. All right. Well, let's take a look around Rosenberg. Contact us. Info at rosenbergclinic.com I could fucking call her. I could call the fucking place. I could call Myrick. I have her number. I guess I could try sending info at Rosenberg Clinic an email and be like, hey, what's good? I guess that's like the first step. Is that maybe there's an automated thing that'll give us some info to like a person that's active there still, even after the raid. Maybe someone that works off site. What? Come on, Omega Lull, you are underestimating us. Underestimating us. Everything happens for a reason. I'm gonna delete the Bria email now. She Omega Lulled back at me. Robert Space Industries, I don't know how you got my fucking email, but I want you to stop. Stop, chat, stop signing my email up. Inquiry. Hey, was just in the neighborhood. Was wondering if you guys were around to hook me up with some medical attention. Shout back if you're available. Thanks. Let's see if we get anything back. <laughs> Dev in chat. Yo, if the devs in chat, this game's fucking amazing. Like, I wish I had found it sooner. I'm a big fan of your guys' stuff. It's real cool. It's a real cool thing you guys did. He doxed himself. Oh, no. Thank you for your inquiry. I'm currently out of the office. Please see our website for general information about the clinic, Linda Moss. Linda, 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 you goddamn fool. You gave me a full fucking name, Linda. Linda, Linda, Linda. <laughs> Linda, please. I have everything I need now to social engineer you. You're about to get socially hacked. Linda Moss. Any one of these people could be Linda. Ah, uh, let's search on Facebook. Now these are all people. I need more detailed information than this. We need to go deeper. We need to go deeper, Chad. They're all Linda. They're all technically Linda. Hang on. I'm gonna search Linda Moss Rosenberg. But without showing you guys the Google search yet because it may spoil the thing. I don't want you guys to see that. One of these may be Linda. I could go through all of them. Okay, but I wanna make sure just to be, I wanna double check. I don't want to show you guys people's random Facebook pages unless I'm sure it's actually like, you know. 
Okay, this one's just a uh, this one's just a lot of political shit. So I don't think any of them are Linda. This is just an old lady. Nah, this ain't Linda. All right. Idea, 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 big idea. I've got a fucking idea. I've got an idea. I, my brain is fucking firing, chat. We know Linda is the name. Linda Moss Receptionist. And we also know this is a reach, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, because my brain is pulsing. I've got, a, I got an idea. We know the format for emails to their to people to personal people on the team. We know the format. We can go to Dr. Nathaniel, Mario Nathaniel right here to check. M Nathaniel at Rosenbergclinic.com. So we can assume that Linda, Linda's email is L Moss at Rosenbergclinic.com. So we've got her fucking email. All we have to do now is socially engineer her. But she doesn't have a Facebook, so I'm just gonna fucking shoot a fucking random message to her and just see uh, see what that gets me. You know? Elmos at Rosenbergclinic.com. Is that it? Was it calm? Right, close this Golden Dawn cipher. I'm gonna go crazy if I look at all this Golden Dawn stuff. Uh, yeah, rosenbergclinic.com. We're just gonna shoot her another fucking random test. There. Well, this is .com. We're gonna go off of whatever Myrix is. That's that email that we already got working. Or whatever. .com. Everything's .com. Everything's .com. Okay, we're good. It's .com. Elmos. Hey. I was told by your automated... If, if you're trying to activate your Neopets, uh, the code is K9YXNHK. So you can just go ahead and grab that from here if you need it. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. It's all cool. But uh, you're going to have to grab it now because it's deleted now. So uh, you guys can grab it if you need it. It was It's in the VOD for you. Don't worry. I was told by your automated service to reach out. Don't ask how I got this email. It's none of my business or yours. How you doing? We're just gonna fucking shoot out some random uh, shots into the darkness and just see what we get, okay? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. It's dark. We're not getting anything. It's dark. They brick wall on us, Chet. Fuck. No. No! Is it in spam? I literally can't show you the spam because I'm almost positive you guys have done horrible things to my fucking email at this point. Oh no. <laughs> Hi, Garlic. I'm Sharda Baker from PugDogSecrets.com. And I would like to personally welcome to the introduction of the unique Pug Report. You are receiving this free email report because you or someone you know subscribed you to our mailing list. Stop it, Chet. Stop it right now. Dragex, hey! Oh, you knock it off. I'm just, this. I don't want to do this. Stop using my email for your bullshit. Be gone. <laughs> you can't even, you, I'm, not, I'm not verifying that one. God, what am I going to do? Maybe I, I might have fucked it up. Hang on, let me double check the name. Fuck, I just deleted it. 
Oh, chat, you fucking absolute rat bastards. All right, you've lost your fucking, you've lost your display privileges. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! I'm so angry. This is spam. <laughs> I now 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 I can't show you it until I'm until I've opened an email. Now you now you guys have lost that. You guys have lost that now. Uh, you've lost that privilege. You've lost the real time look on the fucking email page. You lost it. I gotta go into my trash and grab the fucking one from Linda Moss. It's supposed to be El Moss. I guess I could do it again. Technically, I've got all the... Technically, dude. I gotta find Linda Moss. We gotta go deeper. Alright, that's it. We gotta go deeper. Team. Is she on the team? No. She's nobody. Alright. Alright. You guys got a social media? I could try calling them on my real phone, but I don't have the physical uh, constitution to fucking do that. So I can't do that. Um, in that case, next step would probably be to search her on Facebook, but that was cursed last time I tried it. Mm. Mm. Use a Google number? Twitter? There's no way she has a Twitter. This is an old person like the rest of them. All right, chat. Linda Moss Facebook. Please, Linda Moss. Give me something. I could search Rosenberg Clinic, technically. Okay, these are like all real people. One of them's gotta be something. Hang on. Cut the feed! I just don't like going- I just don't- This one wants to vote for fucking- This one's got political stuff on there. I need more people. Give me, give me a list of larger people. Deeper. We need to go deeper. Linda Moss. I'm, I'm, go I'm going deep. You guys can't see it, but I'm going real deep. There's a lot of Linda Mosses in this world. Okay, I'm going real deep into the Linda Moss list. Come on, Linda. Give me something to work with, Linda. I gotta take off my, I know, I gotta take off my shirt. I'm getting, Linda's getting me sweaty because I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna like accidentally show Linda who's like really into dead bodies and like shows a bunch of dead bodies on her Facebook. I, I, I can't show you guys that, so you can't you can't look at that while I do this. Come on, Linda. All right, that's it. I'm doing the fucking Hail Mary. Linda Moss Ozenberg. Oh no, this is just a guide to the fucking game. I don't want a guide to the game. The problem is, as this stuff dilutes more and more as the time goes on, it's more difficult to find the information you require. You know? Hang on, let me search something. Does Rosenberg Clinic have a fucking page? No. No. No, it does not. Wait. Wait a minute. Hang on, I can't show you guys this yet. No, that's not it. Okay. Huh. Hang on. Wait a minute. No, I, that's nothing. God damn it. What do I do? Hmm. This one's tricking me. Because I don't think I can spend all day staring at Facebooks. Trying to find the real Linda Moss. So, whatever there is. Hang on. I literally can't. I literally can't fucking show you the. Hang, hang on. I think I'm going to a t oh my god, it's gotten real bad over here, chat. It's a good thing I made like eight more fucking emails. Oh my god, chat. You do realize like I actually can't show you any of it anymore. You've done you've done a terrible thing to me. You've ruined it all. 
Stop. I'm not, I'm not interested in New York Times cooking. You're spam. You're ruining it. I'm going to try Elmas at Rosenberg Clinic again. I'm going to check it. Wait a minute. Did I misspell it? Elma Hang on. Give me a second. I'm going to copy and paste it before I do it. Okay. Info at Rosenberg Clinic. No, I want to edit. God fucking damn it. I want to edit this thing. Okay. L. Moss. Linda Moss. Hang on. They got back to me. No, wait, this might not be the same person. I can't show you this yet. I'm so sorry, dear Garlic Gaming One. Your email was flagged as spam and I missed it. Generally, I use this account. Okay, this is actually that. This is actually that. Hang on. Generally, I use this account for internal emails, so please submit all inquiries to our general account, info at rosenbergclinic.com. Have a nice day. Linda Moss, reception. Oh, I got sent to spam, huh? I got sent to spam, Linda? Oh, Linda, you... You rascal, you rapscallion. This is actually them. Uh, I can double check that by going to the address. Yeah, that's actually... Elmas. Yep, that's really them. Thank you, Dev. <laughs> I know that was you, Dev. I appreciate you nudging me in the right direction. Among your 5,000 accounts, I'm sure you have to log in to even do any of this. I'm sure you have a really fun time logging into these fucking emails to fix problems. That sounds like hell on fucking earth, but uh, thanks. Uh, Alright, so what do we have here? Chat. I'm not about to believe that this doesn't have something for me. All right. Generally, I use this account for internal emails, so please go you use, submit all inquiries to our general account at info at rosenbergclinic.com. Have a nice day. Life is full of surprises, but never when you need one. Yes. It sure is. Linda, you're like a fucking ghost, Linda. You have no fucking social media presence. I have no way to find out what you like. Whose quote is this? Bill Watterson. That's the author of Calvin and Hobbes. Well, you made a big mistake, Linda. You made a big, big mistake. Elmas at Rosenberg Clinic dot com. Watterson. I'm in, baby. We in. As simple as that. It actually wasn't very simple. I get the weird feeling, chat, that I fucked up. My email was my email to Linda was supposed to include probably much more information than I gave them. And those devs basically just gave me a free beans. Because <laughs> everything in the game was telling me that was telling me like, oh, you should look at the hobbies and pass you should like guess passwords and like social media hack again. And like all that bullshit. I'm pretty sure those devs were just like, I feel fucking bad for them. <laughs> so they just gave me a freebie. Hey man, I'll take freebies. I already did like, dude, I already did fucking white chapel. I've suffered enough. <laughs> I, I've i suffered enough. I've been through hell. I've seen hell. All right, I'll take any freebies I can fucking get. A memo to all research staff from Linda Moss. Dr. Parr's message about solution DAC 29. Hi everyone. Dr. Parr wanted me to pass this on to all of you. We finished the preliminary tests of Solution DAC-29. Upon contact, it eliminates all properties of M55, and the compound is rendered useless and untraceable. I began human trials earlier this week, and early results suggest that it neutralizes the changes made by M55 with no major side effects. I will continue testing in the coming weeks. We should send the chemical makeup of DAC-29 uh, to our suppliers for evaluation. I can synthesize it quickly with what we already have in the lab, but 
With their industrial equipment, they may be able to create a better version of the solution, one with the odd reaction to sanitizers. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I've tested the residue created by the combination of DAC-29 and cleaning products, and it appears to be harmless. The odd color continues to baffle me, but I'm sure we'll find an explanation soon enough. All right, well, Chet, DAC-29 is uh, the key intel that we were probably looking for. So let's punch that in. DAC-29. Oh, this game is fucking so cool, dude. Hang on, I'm gonna quickly just fucking destroy all of your goddamn emails again. <laughs> just gotta take a quick trip over to my delete all your fucking emails, followed by delete this email at the end of the stream today. Cause I gotta wipe it. Hang on, someone sent me, I refuse. I refuse to even play along. Be gone, all of you. Delete, again. I don't read them chat. You're not getting anywhere with me, dude. You're not getting anywhere. You're getting nowhere. Never with me. Nowhere. Neopets is dead. You killed it. It's dead. The Rosenberg Clinic has found a highly potent compound in M55. <laughs> an effective means of neutralizing it with solution DAK29. They have done what we could not. <laughs> This is a situation highly dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs to break into my house and like beat the shit out of me for buying all these instruments, dude, before the Aztec death whistle gets here, dude. Because at that point, it's all over, chat, right? At that point, it's over. Mission complete. We keep moving. Into the depths. Test results. All right. Bops, chemical composition has been analyzed. Compare her results against our database of similar tests. The monumental tree symbolizes the interconnection of all life. The unity of all things. The colossal trunk supports the earth. The towering branches reach to the heavens, and the huh? Our extraction team has recovered a key asset, Vanessa Bopp. She is our best lead into the Rosenberg case. Our medical team tested her for various BDNF mutations. What's my mute test, getting here, dude? And compare them to everything we have on record. I already did mute. All creatures Cause I want to go like wah 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 and it didn't come in yet. And feed from the nourishing fruit. All of God's glory showcased within one of his mighty creations. Apparently your email has been marked as a spam source. I think a dev said in chat. I wonder if it's because everyone is signing me up for every newsletter ever made by humankind. I wonder if like Google's put me on a spam list because they think I'm a bot account because all that's happened is I've signed up to like 18 different fucking sources of like pug info and porn. Yo, thanks for the fucking raid, Lazy Purple. Hope you had a good one. Thank you, thank you. You're all coming in at a cursed fucking time. You're all coming in at a cursed fucking time. I've been... I've been teetering on the edge of doxing myself in the stream for about... For about four hours now. It's a bad fucking scene. But, uh... We're playing a game called Black Watchmen, which is an ARG game... But you can all play with me in real time. I would recommend if you're interested to navigate to archive.blackwatchman.com because that's where most of the info is put during these missions. Hope you had a good one, man, with whatever you were doing. Mission 12 test results. Bob's chemical composition has been analyzed. Compare her results against our database of similar tests. Currently, we are trying to discover... The grim machinations of a medical company that is performing grim human testing on people with top secret ingredients like fucking like vanilla extract or some shit. Irregular levels. Compare the elemental composition of Bob's tissue sample with what we have on file and find the specimen used in matching test results. <laughs> All right. Archive call number RP71MN. Let's punch it in. 
really just dancing on the deadly precipice of clicking all mail and regretting it, dude. <laughs> RP 71 MN. Research and development analysis of elemental tests. List of minor element levels in subjects of Division 79 testing both human and animal data range 2010 to 2015. All right. Gray represents results of subject. Red represents control group. Lab report. Everything. That one's pretty close. The first one. So I'm looking for... Find the specimen used in matching test results. Well, what's the... What's the... What's the baseline then? Hang on. There's more images. There's more images in here. I need, like, the baseline. Let's pull this open. And then archivist note. Further information on some of the lab reports listed in RP71MN can be found in the archive using the lab report ID. I see, I see. Well, let's grab that quick as well. Uh, the lab report ID... Ah, all of them have their own lab report IDs. Okay, so we're going to do that step by step. I'm probably going to want to make another tab of Black Watchmen. Hang on, one sec. We're going to need to make another tab of this. For all the extras. Alright, so let's take a look at what we do have. Because we're trying to find uh, a specimen that has matching test results with the ones in here. Well, there's an awful lot of these, huh? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Let's just take it easy, game. How about that for a second? Let's try... Let, uh, Alright, um... Why do I feel like I'm going to need to open up additional tools to fucking cross-check all of these? Whatever, let's do it. Let's just take it slow. Let's take it slow with the information that we've got. Okay? So first of all, we've got this extra file. Division 66 test results of LI9S2W. Can I punch that in? LI9S2W. That one doesn't exist. I was deceived. We'll figure it out. Uh, Dr. Viktor Chidinov, uh, Division 79, Research Facility Moscow. During preliminary scans of Vanessa Bops, uh, the subject, uh, specimen samples, that must be, that must be patient zero. Uh, our systems indicated irregular levels of minor elements. See table one, elements typically found below the mass of blah, blah, blah kilograms, very small. Very small amounts have shown a large variance from the control group. Normal human elemental composition, copper, aluminum. Uh, we're currently searching our archive database for prior research on abnormal levels of these chemical elements. Without related data, it will be difficult to discern what, sub what affected subject LI9S2W's composition. Okay, so this is the chemical sample we are comparing. So this is the base. This is the subject. We need... Or this is the control. Yeah, no, this is the subject. Okay, this is a lot of information, but let's just take it step by step. Apparently, if I punch in one of these, it works as an archive. So, we're just going to grab the first one on the list here. 234823R. Huh? Brett's also raiding. Oh, you guys are coming in at the cursed one. This is, this is like when I, this is, this is like, you guys missed the one where I was like doxing people and like bullshit and now you're just coming in to watch me do like fucking math. <laughs> you came in at a cursed time in the ARG stream, man. Cause this one, now I'm back to like goofballing. Whatever. Thank you, Brett. Thank you. Not whatever. Thank you. I appreciate it. I need a lab report ID. Okay. So evidently these are not the... These lab report IDs are not coming through with anything. Uh, because they're not giving me anything on the archive when I search it. Uh, it might be the reference? No, those are all the same. These lab reports are giving me any... I'm not pushing through on any of these. Archive using the lab report ID. Further information on the lab reports listed in RP71MN. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I gotta check my email. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't even need to look at that for very long to know I shouldn't have. <laughs> We're gonna leave that there. <laughs> We're just gonna go. We're just gonna leave that. There's some like stuff in Moonspeak in there now, too. <laughs> Alright. Alright. 
Okay. There's reference LI-95-2W is also nothing, right? LI-95-2W, that comes back with nothing in the archive. Okay, so all these lab reports are giving me nothing right now. I'm just going to grab like... These are, uh, these are fucking meaningless info without being able to go deeper into it. Unfortunately. So I need one of these to give me something. 37, 16, 29, 28, Y. 37, 16... 28 Y. Chat, what am I doing wrong? Am I crazy? Am I like thinking, am I like, I think this is a fundamental brain, uh, beef brain thing going on right now. I think, I, I, I think I'm beefing. Cause like, I, I feel like this shouldn't be as hard as it is. I think I'm making this a lot harder than it's supposed to be. Those aren't call numbers. Well, something, it says that I can, it says right here on the damn thing that I can use the, the lab IDs. In the archive. Why? Would you lie to me? Chat. Why would you lie? Try using the search button, not the URL. <laughs> I'm a little stumped. I'm a little stumped this time. There's a lot of there's a lot of schmutz on this. Hang on. Nope, that's the only source. There's a lot of schmutz. Data range. RP7. We have that. None of these come back with a report. None of these are coming back with anything. <laughs> Hang on. I have a I have a page open that gives me like basic hints for it if I get stuck. Uh, I haven't used it yet, but um, I'm gonna pop it open and see what it says for like basic fucking hints. Try to put those numbers in Excel and pay attention Pay attention to the shapes in the graphics. I don't have Excel. <laughs> if the game wants Excel, I open up the answer. All right, I raise you one cheating. All right, fucko. I am not turning on Excel because I don't have Excel. So if you want Excel, we're skipping it. We're moving on. Google Sheets that I don't I'm a chat I'm afraid to open I'm chat I'm like here's the thing about this stream it's live and I'm only using sites I have physically fucking carefully made sure aren't going to show you guys information you shouldn't be seeing okay I have not tested Google spreadsheets I have no intention of opening extra fucking pages for like tools that I haven't already observed. What if Google Spreadsheets is a den of pornography? You know? What if it's a den of fucking pornography? I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared of fucking of outing my fucking, I'm, I'm afraid of Google fucking showing you things you don't wanna see. I really like trees, chat. I really like trees. Okay? So I'd like to avoid that. And do something. I'd like to avoid that. Okay? I'd like to avoid showing you guys the tree folder. <laughs> F! <laughs> I'm really into trees, man. Okay, so let's look for fucking extremes. 12451M has some extreme bullshit. Unfortunately, I can't see what these fucking things mean, like the X, the colors. I mean, I know that I know that red is control. We're looking for stuff that's fucking extra, extra crazy. Uh, this one, extra, extra crazy. This one's pretty crazy. That one's extremely crazy. That one's like extremely, extremely crazy. I. Hey, here's one thing I do know. I don't think an archive number can break six letters or numbers. So I'm going to try punching in one, two, four, five, one M and just see if that gives me anything. <laughs> I don't want to use Excel, man. I'm stumped and I don't want to, I don't want to do it. You can't make me. I'm going to, I'm going to do something I should have done a long fucking time ago, dude. 
I'm gonna look up a, a site that gives me sm better tips than this site is giving me for tips, but yet not cheating. It's not cheating. I, I promise it's not gonna be cheating. Black Watchmen regular levels. I need like a fucking point in the right direction here. Okay, here's some hints. Pay attention to the shapes in the graphics. There is a shape we have seen before. What? Chat? Is that fucking true? Which one of these is a duplicate? There's gotta be one that's a duplicate. Hang on. No. No. Pa 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 pa. Pa pa pa. No. Pa 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 pa. Pa 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 pa. No. No, no, no. No. Wa pa 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 pa. No. Pa 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 boo boo. Boo boo boo. Boo pee boo. No, those are slightly different. Never mind, I thought I was on to something. Those are slightly, there's ever so slightly different on those two. I need more help. They just linked a JPEG. Hang on, let me pop this up. It's a picture of a butterfly. These do sort of look like butterflies, don't they? I don't think these are hints. I think these are just baseline observations of what shapes look like. This guy, whoever posted these hints, more cheating pog. This one is fucking, I'm good at a lot of like the brain teaser shit. I'm not good at graphs. I go cross-eyed at graphs, all right? You gotta give me a break. I made it pretty far without doing this stuff. All you need is in the 11 pages PDF is the last hint it gives me. Oh no. All I need is in here for all of it. It gave me a picture of a blue morpho. It's a butterfly. A blue morpho butterfly. One page has a different reference number. RP71MN. RP71MN. No, it's just really bad handwriting. RP71MN. 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 MN. MN. No, these are all the same reference. This is a picture of a fucking butterfly. Like this is this is the hint. This is the hint they gave me, chat. <laughs> Am I being trolled? <laughs> Am I being trolled? Am I being goofed on? I'm going insane. I technically could open another page and literally have the answer. Isn't a spoiler. I don't want to do that. I'm embarrassed that I'd have to do that. And I'm gonna look up Blue Morpho. Well, that's just Venture Brothers stuff, and that's depressing because they're canceled now. Manalius Blue Morpho. I think it wants me to get whatever one looks like a butterfly, but they all look like butterflies. I don't see any of you solving this. Hmm. I don't want to cheat in front of the devs. They might still be watching. Wait, guys, check left and right. Are the devs still here? Check left and right. You want me to buy XL? Just check left and right. Are they still here? Devs? No? This one, I officially concede on this one, dude. I can't. I, this, I am not good at graphs. I, I am not opening XL. All right. I don't have that. I ain't opening fucking spreadsheets either. All right, that's where I draw the fucking line. I technically have the answer. Yeah. And it is not anything that I would have gotten from that. I'll tell you that right fucking now. So I'm not really sure. I, obviously this one beat me. Hopefully this is the only one that ever beats me. Or I'm in, I'm in bit loser POV. Yeah, you can laugh this time. This is officially loser POV. The answer was Felis Sylvestris. Wait a minute. Oh, for a second, I thought that was like the Latin term for this. What the fuck is a Felis Sylvestris then? Now I want to know. Hang on, let me cross check. I'm going in, I'm going in backwards. All right. Felis Sylvestris. That's probably a Latin term. For a European wildcat, go to hell, butterfly. Bad tip. 
<laughs> POV, you're, you're cheating in the video game. I, for a second, I thought it wasn't it, and I got, like, fucking super bamboozled. CAT! <laughs> Get out of my fucking way! What did that say, CAT? Said the answer was CAT! No way it was CAT! The two must have been collaborating on bone marrow experiments. We must work quickly to find the origin of the bone marrow used before Morphle is made aware of our actions. Didn't, no, no way it was fucking cat. It was cats. It was cat. I'm sorry. All right, no, 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 I want to go back in for a second. Cat, 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 cat. Wait a minute. One second. Okay, no. I just wanted to check if that, if Base64 was a, if it was a crypto, like, ASCII cipher conversion bullshit. It wasn't. All right, chat, I am just an idiot. <laughs> Blue Morpho equals butterfly equals cat. I am just a fucking stupid idiot bitch, and I lost the first puzzle of this game so far. That I haven't like been able to slam and that worries me Because that means you guys get to laugh at me now all the time. You just get to go. Oh, Megaloli doesn't fucking get it again. Oh My god, hang on <laughs> Linda started getting real fucking toxic lately, dude. I don't know what's going on with Linda L Linda you gotta stop, man! Linda, you're scaring me! This ain't really Linda. This is some fucking imposter, and I won't have it, Linda. I won't let you keep it up. You can't scare me anymore. Uh, I'm getting a lot- I, I, I got subscribed to fo Foot Health Facts today. Along with Flat Earth Society. Hello, Garlic Gaming one this is the report you requested from lab 5CW6. Recently in the basement. I, I can't. I, I, none of, don't listen to any of this. Don't even bother trying to read it even though you can't because I'm not showing you the screen. I gotta delete all these. Again. You fucking assholes. You're ruining my stream. You know that, right? You're ruining my stream. Alright. Two-Headed Eagle, Mission 13. Decipher a unique document found in the Super Terran database. I love deciphering. The Tree of Life speaks of man's place within the universe. Because man is investing with mind and consciousness in the true path, and yet also exists in the physical world, he may through himself experience and express all our network intrusion team has uncovered a unique document within the Super Terum database. Stop yelling! It may relate to the creation of M55. Decipher the document and investigate any possible leads. Understood in this way, one can expand their view to encompass all. Thus, the student seeks to know himself and therefore the universe, as both are the same expression of the pure vision. Once the path is known, one can begin the journey upwards. It's time. Never again will I let one of these fucking levels beat me. Decrypt the text document from the Super Terum database and uncover the author. Encipher it. Okay, network intrusion team report document of unknown origin appears to be enciphered with encryption tool at web address HTTPS encipher dot it uh Oh, uh, that sounds Extremely complicated. Okay, let's begin Let's punch that in first uh, and cipher dot it You ain't gonna make me download fucking enciphering tools onto my actual PC, are you? No, 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 We won't have to do that. We got everything we need right here. Hi. Encipher it. Enter the encryption password. PP. Encipher it. Oh yeah. And then we can punch this bad boy in. Right back in there. 
Decipher it. The password is PP. Just want to make sure I understand how this uh, tool works uh, before we actually put it to work. Okay. We understand how the tool works. Now, let's get to actually deciphering. ABST letter, Super Terram document archive call number FY8QW7. Punch it in. And let's take a look. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Okay, that's a lot more complicated than mine was. Okay, uh... That's pretty... That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Okay, well, uh, let's get to it then, chat. Uh, we have... If I just punch this in... Yeah, sure, we'll be able to ins we'll be able to activate the application, but we won't have any, like, oh, the whole, hang on, I gotta to punch this in properly. We won't have the password. Okay. Let me just make sure I got this properly. The ENC, okay, there is no period. So we can go to decipher it, but we are gonna need the password. All right, so we need to get a password to decipher this on and cipher it. Uh, this is some religious bullshit. Almost positive this is some religious bullshit. If anyone says wandereth, it's religious bullshit. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab this fucking quote and punch it in with good old fashioned quotations. <laughs> with punctuation. As a bird that wandereth from her nest so is a man that what is that banging going on wandereth from his place barbingus proverbs i'm gonna grab this and copy it proverbs 17 point colon 8 kgv bible hub Never thought I'd be here. <laughs> Never thought my stream today would take me to Bible Hub again. Thought I, thought I moved on. Hang on, email check. That was from John Cena himself that time. Okay. Bible Hub. So, all right. Proverbs 17, colon 8. A sermon intended for reading on the Lord's Day. I'm looking for the fucking bird one. Where's the bird one? Where's the one with the bird? Wandereth. King James Version. But these are all different versions. Oh my god. Fucking Bibles are bullshit, dude. <laughs> There's like 80 different fucking versions of the same bullshit. So as the bird wandered, so the bird wandered, bird went into 7-Eleven today and picked up some soda. The bird wandered. What? There's like a thousand different fucking versions of this. Oh. But the King James Version is the one that it says. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Correct? As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Looking at the King James Version. Alright, Proverbs 17. 8. Okay. So we're going to need to get the password for the cipher thing. With exclusively this knowledge. I could fucking copy and paste all the other proverbs on this list until I get one. I could just fucking take dumps all over this until I get it. At this point, we got the Bible Hub, baby. We got, we got the Bible Hub. At that point, there's not much more to lose. 
17.8. There's a lot of fucking... Honestly, chat, what's throwing me off right now is I'm here. There's like a fucking party going on upstairs. Okay? Yeah, I'm gonna just like... We're gonna try some basic things. Proverbs. Let's just try Proverbs. Let's just literally try Proverbs 27, colon 8. Just to see. Well, that wasn't it. You don't think it'd be that fucking easy though surely it wouldn't be that easy that would be so easy easy it would be unbelievable yeah that's too easy technically it's kgv version hmm boast not thyself as uh, thyself of tomorrow for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth let another man praise thee there's gotta be a fucking hint that tells me that this is like bullshit Gotta be some. Oh, wait, there was more. There was more information. We, we, we're fucking up. Archivist note the original image found in the document appears to be a double headed eagle of the Byzantine Empire. Okay. Does that change the Bible I decide to use? You got your, your Byzantines. Your Byzantines in chat. You got your own one? Your Byzantines. Any Byzantines in chat? Yo, we got any Byzantines? I'm sure that means we want Orthodox. Don't we? Byzantine. Byzantine. Isn't that orthodox? Major influence upon orthodox Christianity. Byzantine! They use King James? Oh, that's really easy then. Oh, well, what do I fucking... What if I just, like, copy and paste the next one in the list? What if I just, like, fucking ask them every goddamn thing, you know? Ointment and perfume rejoice, the blah, 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 blah. Oh, that wasn't it. Fucking hell. Decipher it. <laughs> we need more. We need more than this. We need more. I'm gonna fucking another deep cut. Another deep cut, another big search here. From Byzantinium to present day Russia, the double headed blah 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 blah. I saw more fucking bird thing there. Where is it? I saw more bird thing there. I saw more bird. I see more bird. Bird wanders from a nest, so is a man that wanders from his place. A bird, which leaveth their eggs on the earth, warmeth them in the dust. What the hell is all this shit? Hang on. Hang on. I got, I got more. I, 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 I'm reporting. Can you get more bird info here? What comes in me? I don't understand. Chat. All of this bullshit. All right. Fucking operates on assumption that I give a fuck about the Bible or ever had. Okay. All right, which complicates things for me. I'm gonna try just punching in this one and just see what happens there. No, 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 no. I think I'm overthinking this one hard. Hard and, hard and, hard and sweaty here, chat. Okay. There's a problem here and I think it's me overthinking it to an extreme fucking degree. Originally, the symbol of Imperial Russia, the double-headed eagle, was restored as the country's official emblem in the early 1990s. Tell me something about birds. Read something about... about the birds. Wander appear in this? No. I will accept extremely simple guidance towards my destination. 
at this point in time. If people are also playing along and have figured something out, I will accept it. It could just be proverbs. That'd be so easy. Imagine fucking doing that. That'd be the worst encryption ever. Ask Linda. No, that's all too easy. My guess is just 27.8. That's so easy. That, that's barely even an encryption there. There's bar- There's nothing there, chat. You guys are fucking- Wait a minute. Oh, it was not- That was not it. No, that wasn't it. Hmm. Hmm. These are getting trickier, dude. These are getting trickier. I can't... I'm definitely down with the trickier, but I think I need, like, a little bit more. I'm navigating to the good hint site, and I'm just gonna ask for, like, a very basic hint. The deciphering key is a complete sentence, commas and periods included. Alright, so I think I was onto something more than you guys were onto something then. This is a fucking, this is another, whatever we're looking for is another full fucking post from probably the Bible, then. We probably want something that's like hefty from the Bible. But what? Maybe there's something hidden actually like straight up in the fucking encryption text? No. That'd be too easy. A B S Absk Yes. We're going to look up that fucking logo. We know that it's from the Byzantine Empire. We know the eagle is that, but what's the A B S C thing? Byzantine A B S that's an A B S C, right? That's a C or is that some other bullshit? Bureaucracy and aristocracy. I'm gonna need the logo on that or I ain't gonna believe that's anything. I'm gonna need a logo on that. Let me just look up the eagle again. Double headed eagle Byzantine. Double headed eagle. All right. <sighs> As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. This qu I, The quote, chat! The quote has to mean something! But what? I got a Sprite shirt link! We got a link to SpriteShirt.com! Hang on! Yes. Yes. Byzantine Empire. Byzantine Gaming. A-B-S-T, not A-B-S-C. A-B-S-T. That's a reach, man. I don't know about that one, man. I don't know about that one, chat. Seems like you guys might be fucking reaching it a little bit. Seems like you guys might be reaching a little bit there. Buy the shirt. Yes. Chat. I've opened up another couple of the fucking hints for this one. These have started getting fucking insane. I, I'm going to solve this one legit. I'm gonna fucking do it. But these have gotten, these have reached the ascended level that I was talking about where stuff's gonna slow down because I'm gonna get stumped more. Oh yeah, these have started to get a little bit fucked. A little bit fucked in capital F-U-C-K-E-D. Okay. I gotta go deeper in the Byzantine thing, I think. Double-headed Byzantine... 
eagle of the Byzantine Empire. Let's just... What does it all mean? I need to see some photos. What does it mean? Double-headed eagle. Double-headed eagle. All right, there's nothing really that crazy there. Let's keep digging deeper, though. Let's just keep going fucking deeper. Deeper. I need, like, a good, solid picture of this fucking thing. Hang on. Okay. What does it all mean? No. But what do you mean? Because this, this was a fucking hint. They don't just get... This game does not just give hints for no fucking reason. Double-headed eagle of the Byzantine Empire. Explain. Explain the eagle. Double-headed eagle is a charge associated with the concept of the empire. Most modern uses of simple, uh, symbol are directly or indirectly associated with its use by the Eastern Roman slash Byzantine Empire. Whose use of it represented the empire's dominion over the Near East and the West. The symbol is much older. Double-headed eagle is a motif. Uh, what is its meaning, though? Dynastic emblem. Blah, 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 blah. Motif further augmented. Give me... Explain. Try chicken. Try sentence as is exactly from the page. That is too easy to the point where I don't believe it. I, I wouldn't be able to believe that. I wouldn't believe that'd be possible. And plus, I already tried literally what you just recommended. I didn't get anything out of it. That was Byzantine. Okay. After the fall of Constantinople. Oh no, that's not it. That's that's Russia. Oh man. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. I mean, I could just try it with also the fucking proverb. I could punch it in with the proverb on top of it. Proverb 27 colon 8. That'd be too easy. Yeah, no way. Remember when chat said this game was easy? Oh, I remember like it was fucking yesterday, chat members in chat. I remember it like it was yesterday. This game's too easy. It needs to get a little harder. Go to hell. Deeper. Wait. Not gonna lie. I've been navigating through hate things, but I'm gonna do a deep cut here. Another deep cut. Okay? Because I'm getting desperate. <laughs> I'm gonna do some basic things. Some things that might seem crazy, but I'm just gonna do some basic fucking things. I'm gonna count my feathers they got. <laughs> <laughs> how many feathers the thing has <laughs> cause it might it, maybe it'll work 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 9, 10, 11, 12 13, 14, 15, 17, 16 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 22, 23, 24 25, 26, 27 28 I meant that's just 28 feathers <laughs> <laughs> He's losing it. <laughs> He's losing his mind. How many feathers are on the other side? It's the same amount. It's the same amount, Chad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's the same amount. He counted 26 twice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
This don't. This don't work. This don't work. This is as deep as I ever get. This don't work. No! Ah! <laughs> I'm just going crazy. He's just losing his mind. He's just losing his fucking mind. <laughs> Hang on, what if I counted wrong? Maybe we all counted wrong, let's try 28, five. Let's just try another one, let's try 28, five. Maybe we're bad at counting, dude. Ah! <sighs> Brute force every line in proverb. Do these count as feathers? Do I count every feather? What if I count every feather on the damn guy? What if I just count every feather on the bird? Maybe I've counted every feather. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 1, 2, 3. The feathers are different. This one has weird feathers on it, Chet. 24, 3. Stop this. No, no, no. I'm, I'm like fucking, I'm like Nicolas Cage at this point, dude. 24, 3. What's 24, 3? Please, I need a W. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna eat my own tongue, dude. I'm gonna bite my tongue off. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go fucking crazy, dude. He's losing his mind. I have another plan, but you guys aren't gonna like it. It involves counting every single white and black one on the wings. How high do the fucking proverbs even go? Not high enough for that to work. Did I miscount? There's no way I don't have enough space for that. There's too many. Did I miscount? The white and black centers. That's literally what I just did on stream chat and it didn't work. I'm gonna try the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yep, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 10. <laughs> You'll give me something. A divine sentence. No. Add the both the black feathers on both sides. Proverbs chat proverbs only go up to 31. There's more than 31 black feathers, I think, at this point. Definitely more than 31. Alright, that would be way higher. Is it 2416? I don't know, dude. The fall of the fucking brainiac, dude. My brain's collapsed. It's fucking melting. I can't... I, I, I don't have it anymore, dude. I might as well just open my email and accept that confirmation for Pornhub now while I still have the chance. He's lost it. The streamer's lost it. I, <laughs> wait a minute, I'm back on it! Who said that one? How did, how did we get to there? How, how did we get to there? Which one was that? 2410? How do we count it? How, what, how, did I just count wrong? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How the fuck did we get to 10? I'm confused how we got to 10. 24 worked, but I'm confused how we got to 10. Wait, was it 16 and I fucked it up? Oh, 16. So 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 
Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six. I ain't even gonna chat. Someone in chat fucking cracked the code on that one. But we, hey, we got close. We never would have actually gotten it. No, actually, we would have eventually gotten it. Because in about another 10 seconds, chat, I was about to start taking off my clothes while making, like, fart sounds as I literally went down every proverb in the Bible, starting from the top to the bottom, and punching everyone in and brute forcing it. Because I knew it was a proverb. I knew it was a proverb. I would have just fucking snapped and did it. Let's check my email. <laughs> Hang on one sec. I don't want to sign up for Instagram. I don't care about... Me Linda, stop watching my stream. Now, Linda. I don't want any of your help anymore. Someone signed me up for Roblox. I'm keeping that account. That's mine now. That account's mine. All right. All right. Brother, our civilization is heading towards its own destruction. Nature is turning against those who have destroyed it, and man is set to pay a heavy price for what he has done. Our masters performed the sacred ritual to exit this plane. But we must strive to bring forth the, a the new age before we may join them. We strive to create the conditions for his return so he might usher in the glorious Aeon. He shall bring about the end of the profane human kingdom and awaken us all to the cosmic world above. The path ahead is treacherous. We are forced to align ourselves with the, with the wicked men of science in order to achieve our ultimate goal. We must have the wretched remains of the sinners and they have the means to transform it into the power elixir to bring on the return. And upon the return, these madmen and maniacs shall be cast aside, and our brethren shall be reunited. The cycle shall be complete according to the divine rhythm, and we shall ascend as the civilization of the corrupt crumbles into oblivion. From the cursed remains of the foul men of mischief shall rise our glorious phoenix. You must find the innocent and the pure and transform the blighted bones into the power elixir, the powerful elixir needed to awaken him. Prepare them for the glorious sacrifice using the ancient methods so their pure offering serves him and they may rejoice in the next plane and be rewarded for eternity. For in the world of illusions, we all must pass away, Brother Matimus. Stupid fucking name. Stupid fucking name. What a dumbass fucking name. Whatever, I punched it in. Wow, that was a hard fucking one. What was that, advanced? Or was that veteran? I was just veteran. Brother Matimus. Oh my god. That one fucking, that one, that one scared me, chat. That one scared me. But you see, we were able to cooperatively solve it together. And I know for a fact, chat, that none of you fucking, ch I, I know you guys didn't cheat when you gave me that answer. Because nothing on any of the walkthrough sites of this game gives you, like, the middle steps. Like, the passwords to things like that. It gives you the end password. So whoever put that in actually got the answer. And we were almost there too, dude. We were almost there too, so it wasn't ruined. We were all like there together trying to figure it out, which is cool shit. Our database links the following site to the person known as Brother Matimus. Investigate the website and find the group who created it. Abstemple.com. Oh, this is just all gonna be abs, huh? Abstemple. Pump it. Yeah. Okay, this is a lot less fun than I thought it would be. Ebbs. I told you it was an S. Wait, we all knew it was an S. Never mind. We seek only the enlightened and the knowledgeable who live by the rule. Question. What perfect gift did the second innocent give to our ancient order? Uh... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do some Googling. 
Second Innocent. We know these guys are Bible nuts. Pope Innocent too. Okay, Pope Innocent too. What did you do, Pope Innocent too? What did you do? You do anything silly, Pope? Treaty of Mignano. Uh, ambushed papal troops. Thousand knights captured the innocent. The innocent was forced to acknowledge the kingship and possessions of Roger with the Treaty of Migrano. That's not really anything yet. Um. Am I sure I have the right guy? Surely, yeah, this is a Pope. <sighs> yes. All right, Pope, what did you do? What did you do? What is, what perfect gift did the second, hang on, I'm just gonna look up, second innocent gift. OP Omni Datum Optium. Latin for every perfect gift, a quotation from the Epistle of James was a papal bull issued by Pope Innocent II in 1139 that initially endorsed the order of the poor knights of Christ and the of the Temple of Solomon, the Knights Templar. Oh yeah, we're here now. Alright, this is Oh, we're getting closer, baby. Alright, Knights Templar, that's some bullshit. In which the Templar the Templar rule was officially approved and papal production given. Additionally, Omni Datum Optium promised all spoils from Muslim conquest to the order and made the order exempt from tithes and taxes. I'm not entirely sure if the site's displaying wrong, but I'm not really sure what to where to punch stuff in. You know? I'm tempted to do inspect, but I'm worried. I don't want to show you guys that in case, like, I don't know what it's going to do. Let me see. Let me inspect through the page source. A uh, bunch of bullshit. Bunch of bullshit. It doesn't even look like it has any hook for um, an actual thing. Render query. A bunch of bullshit. It's just a bunch of bullshit. URL says answer. Well, I mean, yeah. It, 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 hang on, I'm gonna go. Take me back to the Templar site. Take me back to the classic. Give me, give me out of the source thing. Get, get me out of here. Turn off page source. How do I fix Firefox? Just make another page. Just make a new one. No, 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 no. Question. Mm. I need a better. I need. Mm. One moment, sir. I'm going in deeper. Omni Optim was unusual bull. There's nothing. I need something on the site that gives me something. Images, logo, answer, vendor query. Perfect gift. Alright, this is just vendor queries for sizzle.com. That's nothing. <laughs> That's nothing. Let's try literally just making... Let's just try... Let's try some fucking basic link stuff here, okay? Uh... Omne datum optium. We're just gonna fucking punch in some shit. With an HTML. With no space. Okay, that's nothing. Wait, there's a space by accident. One sec. Nope, nothing there. Okay, let's try Knights Templar. Knights. Oh, no S there. Fucking God. Firefox! You're pissing me off today! No Knights Templar. Uh... Every perfect gift. I could put in every perfect gift. 
We need, we need like the ID for this. Put in every perfect gift. Let's try that. Every perfect gift. Every perfect gift. <laughs> I, I guess I should be doing this with over with lower cases, because that stuff matters. Oh wait. Oh, why that? Why was this? In? Oh, every perfect gift. No. I'm gonna try lowercase with Omni Datum Optimum and see if that does anything. I think it, I think it might just need to be an over, a lowercase O. Okay, we're gonna try that. Let's try that lowercase O on this thing. See if that gives us any 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 hits. And then we're gonna try all. We're gonna try just Optimum. We got him, baby. We got him right where we want. We got him right where we want him, baby. All right. At this stage, you must learn that all life is but ephemeral. All that was shall pass away like smoke in the wind. We seek only to aid those willing to turn away from the profane world in order to open the cosmic world and prepare yourself for the return. You wishing to be a knight of the Templar, join your brethren and free yourself of all human and terrestrial bonds. And that tie us to this decaying planet using the remains of wicked men. We must, we seek to bring about his return and with him a new age of glory. Your journey has begun. Welcome to the ancient brotherhood of the Solar Temple. Let he be your guide inward. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and operate on an assumption that we are looking at ancient brotherhood of the Solar Temple as the group who created this site. That was pretty good. That, that, that one was still pretty tricky. Uh, it was mainly just the capitalization uh, that, that tricked me up. Because I technically got it first, earlier, and it was just capitalization that tripped me. Well done, Agent. We got another one, baby. We got another one. Oh, but I'll tell you what, chat. I'll tell you what. I'm done. If you like this and want to see more of it, you can play it for yourself. I don't want to finish this campaign because I would like you guys to, I think, play it for yourself if you're interested. It's $10. It's $10 on Steam. Alright? If that seems cool, buy it. You know? Go out on a high note. I'd rather stop when I got something right than when I got stuck at something. You know? I think that's a fair... I think that's pretty fair. I, I think that's a pretty fair plan. Time to delete my, uh, all these new accounts I had to make so that you guys can't fucking dox me. Cause I didn't get doxed in the process of doing this. I'm out, chat. Uh, I am gonna make sure that I didn't miss any, like, big bit donations or gifted subs, but I'm not going through everything today because my throat is fucking killing me. I probably shouldn't have streamed today because my body really could, shouldn't, can't do it. So I'm gonna get out real quick today and just, like, dip, alright? So, uh, Livid Lark, thanks for the eight dollars. Here's something you can read, Fruit Man. Enjoy these letters in this particular order. Death Whistle. Okay. All right, man. Take it easy. You don't gotta... Is that a threat? I also know that this definitely deleted all my...